All right now. <laughs> so thank you, Drizzle Stank. Drizzle Stank is my uh, DJ. He wrote, he wrote me a theme song. <laughs> He's been a really good YouTube friend, so I'm going to shout him out, and I'll put his link somewhere in the description. I keep forgetting to do that, but you got to check him out. Um, he likes to collaborate on music things, so that's what we do together. Awesome. So welcome to the inaugural <laughs> Learn to Crochet with I Bring It Every Day and uh, Miss T, presented by Miss T with a T. Oh, <laughs> yes. So I see we have some people in. I'm going to I'm going to greet you real fast. And then I want to start out and say March. This is March 2024 is National Crochet Month. Hmm. Ironically, <laughs> it's also Women's History Month. It is. That is correct. Yes. So that being said, this kind of fits the whole um idea of, of crochet. This is, I, so anyway, I've been on YouTube a couple of years and this is something that I've been wanting to do for a very, very long time, but I haven't been able to get people to do it. <laughs> so I'm so glad that I have some people to crochet along with and, and I can sort of share my uh, love for crochet. And that's basically what the month is. You know, you share your love uh, for crochet and um, you learn to crochet, you teach someone how to crochet, you, you, you buy a book, you, you, rent a book from the library, check one out. And um, so this is, I guess this is my little, uh, my ad you know, to the National Crochet Month and a shout out to all the crocheters and knitters and fiber arts people out there. All right. So I'm going to have everybody introduce themselves. And I'm going to change this. Well, actually, let's, let me say hi to some of the chat first. So let's see who we have here. So we've got Tina Bailey, number one. You're number one. <laughs> He's been a good YouTube friend of mine a very long time. Hey. Hi, Tina. And um, right now I've got kind of shaky fingers. <laughs> we got so Sarah's happy hives here. Hi, and she's Sarah. one of the crocheters on the panel. And we got I unbiased LLC. Hello. Hey. In Red Scout. Good day. We'd like to see God walking in the clouds. I posted something. Okay, we'll check it out. Um but like I said, well, I'll let you. I'll let you promote just a little bit later in the chat. I just want to sort of let us let us get going and have some fun. So that's this is the evil plan. So I want everybody to have fun. So these are my goals for today. I want us to uh, get started or restart crocheting. I want us to have fun because that's the plan. I always say my evil plan is to have fun, and I don't know why I'm having trouble finding people who want to have fun. It's very hey, want to be pinky in the brain. What do you want yes. to do today? <laughs> what do you want to do today? I'm going to have a little fun crochet. Take over the world. <laughs> take over the world and crochet. <laughs> and, and a little bit of knitting. I am beginning and, from the beginning. I mm -hmm. have a just a thread. <laughs> let, let me make you big. Uh, now introduce yourself. And I'm uh, Sarah. I'm a yep. beekeeper in, in, in Columbus, Indiana. And uh, apparently I'm a YouTuber now. <laughs> you are. That's awesome. And when I left off, I was crochet, learning to crochet doilies. So this is what oh, I have. Good for you. Okay. I like it. Oh, I see William in there. Hi, dry cut, honey. Yeah, we got some people. Okay, let's say hi to Miss Lisa. Make you big. And say hi to the say hi to your peeps. Hi. That's good to see everybody. <laughs> yes. All right. And, and any quick words before we get started? Let's see. I am a beekeeper, a suburban mm -hmm. homesteader. Um, yep. And the last time I stopped crocheting, I had like three or four different projects, but I was using raffia to make a beach hat. So oh. uh, that's all I could find is okay. my raffia. That is you know? fine. Yeah. We love raffia. <laughs> but it's okay. It works. It works. We love all the things. Yeah. Anything yarn like. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. And then we have the lovely Miss T with the T. Say hey, oh. hey y'all. Yeah. I'm Miss T with the T. Uh, the community, the community connector, I guess. Yes, you are. I will be using my same yarn that I've been using since day one, and mm -hmm. my same crochet hook that I've been using. That's great. I love it. <laughs> All right. So, um, so how are you feeling, Miss T? Yeah, since you you've 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 come back. Like how are you? How how are you feeling with your crochet? Like I feel fine. You can be honest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> how are you feeling? Okay, I feel, I feel great. All right. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Let's see. Like I said, are we about to knit? 
You're about to crochet. We will crochet. Yes. Yeah. So unbiased. Yeah. Happy crochet month. Yeah. I want to put that on the screen there. That is the, the thing. And, um, the, you know, a lot of people still don't understand the difference between knitting and crocheting. I, I mean, don't. I can't knit. Well, <laughs> I tried. I love yeah. to watch other people do it, though, because okay. they, I, I mean, like, okay. Yeah, I know. It, it's a little bit, it's different. <laughs> but crochet, all you need is a ball of yarn, although this is not a good one. But you just need a ball of yarn <laughs> and a hook. Yep. There, there go. you go. Where and uh, pretty, pretty easy entry into uh, starting. <laughs> Yes. All right. So we got Chris, Katrina. Uh, Katrina is one of my uh, members. She's been a really good supporter of my channel. Katrina's crochet hook and loops. And she does tutorials. And I know she has one out there right now. She just did this morning. So she's saying she'll be listening. She's working. Yeah, she's doing a mosaic crochet. I don't do that very well. <laughs> now, what is that? Mosaic. Oh, oh, I don't have an example. I'll have to pull a picture up. But what it is, is you use usually two colors and... Um, it makes some kind of geographical, geometrical shape. So um, mm. I don't have, uh, like I said, I have not done a whole lot of that. I've only done little tiny swatches of that, but uh, that's what we do. Yeah. Okay. So we got Crazy Poppy Lady, one of my peeps. We got, now, how do I pronounce this? Dej? That Lula is Dej. Her name is Deidre. Oh, Dej. Okay. Deidre. Yeah. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. Yes. And Red Scout saying, Christ is the king of the lords, a.k.a. line of the tribe of Judah. Okay, now. <laughs> I see you. Okay. Everyone's saying good morning. Let's see. Go see what we finished. It's amazing. Oh, we got Laura's Garden and more. Hey. Laura loves your channel. She loves it a lot. She does oh. let me know about how much she enjoys your, your voice and how you oh. everybody how to crochet. Had to get my nice. shawl. Thank you, Laura. Oh, yeah. I appreciate it. I try to do pretty. Yeah, well, my, my goal in life was not to, uh, how can I put this? My goal was to put out good content. <laughs> and I hope I've succeeded in some way. <laughs> That's my goal <laughs> when I started my channel. Because I, I was a supporter, so I watched a lot of people before I started. Oh, Dry Cut Honey can't stay. Oh, local conference. Good for you. Yeah, my husband's actually at a uh, gardening seminar because he's studying to be a, ma a master gardener. Hmm. So, yeah, he's fancy. But everyone's saying hello. We got Butterroll Boutique. Deej. Oh, Butler's Family Farm. Hey, Butler. We got Butterroll Boutique again. Hello. Hey, uh, Ms. T. Lou. Hello. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> Nana Michelle. Hello. She's one of my peeps. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, okay. Dry cut honey saying, LOL, my wife does all that. I purposely call it by the wrong name because I'm antagonist. <gasps> yes. He is, William. Okay, <laughs> he's being naughty. So, so the, the thing that's really funny is, so anyway, I want us to have fun and I and I want you to ask questions. I mean, you probably already know what you're doing, but um, I'll demonstrate a couple things, unless you don't want me to. I mean, it's all good. I can do whatever. You know, I'll, I'm, well, I'm here to learn because it's coach. been a while. <laughs> okay. Yes, ma'am. Simply, Sarah, do you even know how to make the, the line? The first, do we need, to, I'm just trying to figure out how far do we need to start? Yeah. I, yeah. You Good start question. with a, a loop, like mm -hmm. a. Yeah, let me grab another. I did a bad. Yeah, I always make mine like this. Just okay. Let, let me see let yours, the, the, the slip knot. So you start with the slip knot. I'll make you big. Okay. How do you, how do you so start? the way I make mine is, of course, I always wrap my oh, no. like oh, I, this, but I, this I always go now. through and twist and make my slip knot on the hook. Mm. <laughs> Me and Sarah, oh, down your life. I'm like, <laughs> oh, my, lighting, my lighting is horrible. I don't know what's up with my lighting. It's hard. I mean, yeah, you, you have, have to, to find your way. Here and help me. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Kate, you know, stop. Well, that's, well, that's my tech yes. <laughs> what was that hand the... movement again? What happened? <laughs> my <laughs> hand thing? <laughs> my hand thing? Is that what you want to see? Oh, yes, okay. Let's see that again. You, know, you take, and I know this is mirrored, but I always, this is my left hand, and I just mm -hmm. take it and loop it around yes. and then come under like this. 
Oh, and it awesome. keeps a good, it just keeps my, oh, let me get it here with the camera. So it just keeps my nice and snug. Okay. It's how my mother did it, and that's how she taught me. So that, oh, that's cool. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> if you could have seen the look at me and Sarah's face down here. We're like, yeah, I know. That was interesting. I've never seen that before. And that's yeah. what you find. I mean, this is the whole mm -hmm. thing. Like a lot of people, there we go. I finally got you. There we go. Okay. Exit solo. So what okay, I'm going to so do. I'm, I'm right handed, but I yes. can use my left hand for certain. I mean, if I oh, have to write with my left hand, it's like I'm in first grade. <laughs> I can do it. Um, I'm just trying to figure because of the mirror thing, I think, got me mixed right. up. But if you start. Yeah, yes. it's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, that train went. Yeah, well, it, and it does happen. There are so many ways. Yeah, that's what crazy poppy lady's saying. And let the me, biggest gonna... thing is just to loop it over your finger anyway. To yeah, loop it over your then, finger. Yeah, you loop then... it over the forefinger, and then you'll find what to do with the tail. So, yep. you know. All right, so I'll show you what but, I'm doing. <laughs> you I need an in-person lesson. Yes. So, so unbiased, hold on a second. I've got this sprinkly paper. I apologize. I have this bag and my husband got me these storage bags and they're so noisy. But anyway, I'll show you the way I do it. And this isn't perfect, but it is what it is. <laughs> okay. okay. I'm getting the feel for it here. <laughs> Let's see if I can do this right here. Okay. All right. Boy, there's so many of us. I don't like the way this, I'm going to try to change this layout here. All right, let's see if we can do that. Ah, there we go. That's what I want. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Hang on just a second. I got my camera on. I'm going to change my setting here. And uh, hopefully this will work. I hate all this scrolling. Everything is like wacky. Camera might be turned down. Yes. Okay. So there it is. All, the way up. all right. Hopefully you can see that. Yes. Oh, I gotta wait. Help. So there's my hook. Okay, All right. So here's my hook. yarn. Okay. This is the tail. Mm -hmm. And then my ball is on this side. Okay. So I do this little. You know, you know the curse of L. <laughs> I do that. Okay. Laverne yep. and Shirley. Okay. Yes, like Laverne mm -hmm. and Shirley. You pull it back like that. Let me see if I'm doing this right. Oh, I think I did this wrong. Hold on. Do the L. I pull it back over one of the sides like that. You see that? And then I grab it and pull both of these. And there's the slip knot. Did that make sense? Mm -hmm. So one more time, I do the cursive Laverne. <laughs> I'm going to pull it back on the side where the, uh, yeah, pull it back there like that. And you take this. Put your fingers in there and you pull both. My and the slip knot is a, uh, what it does is it just gets you onto the hook and it, and it's adjustable. And I don't know if you can see that, mm -hmm. but it's adjustable. Yeah. I got faith I, in there. Okay. So does that, does that, does that make sense for everybody? It's the magician's knot. It just keeps <laughs> Right. Going. Now, one way somebody does it, now let me see if I can do this right now. My brain doesn't work this way, mm -hmm. <laughs> but they do this thing where they go around their fingers twice, mm -hmm. like that. See, that's what I do. They keep it, yeah. Okay, so you do that, and then mm -hmm. I think you pull the front okay. over the back, mm -hmm. and then the back over the front, or is that it? <laughs> oh, that is it. Yeah, there's. I know there's one extra step. Yeah, and then they do that. Yep, there it is. <laughs> But that one to me is wiggity whack. I don't know. <laughs> For my brain, it doesn't work. <laughs> oh, crazy popular says she. Uh, How about I did it? You did it. Good job. Yeah, but anyway, <laughs> but, but basically, that this is not my brain doesn't work like this. This is not my style. Not your cup of tea. Not my cup of tea, but it works. But there it is. <laughs> but but it's almost like it. See, this seems to me to be an extra step. Hold on, let me get in there. But there it is. Yeah. So. But the whole key is just to get the yarn onto the hook. So I'm going to do my L because I like this better. My <laughs> L. 
do you always do it on the table or this no, no no i'm just just a show okay because the whole thing is it's hard to see you know if if the camera's facing me you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. all right well thank then you after, after this after the slip knot is the chain so you got to figure out how you're going to tension your yarn this is the ball this is my 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 end of, this is my tail my tail's way too long but it is what it is hold on sir <laughs> you still with us sarah i, I got it okay you got, got it the but, tail, but everybody have it got okay. the yarn. so we're and gonna I did my first chain stitch yeah now do you remember how to do that i do okay so you 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 know you you wrap around hopefully i'm in yeah it looks better and I'm going to do it real slow. And I'm doing the, uh, right now I'm doing the pencil hold. And we'll talk about the knife hold or the pencil hold. I don't know which one you guys are. But you kind of want to get these chains somewhat equal. See that? We don't have to be perfect. But I like to leave them a little bit loose like that. I don't know if you can see, but there's like holes. You can almost see through them. Oakland Bronze and Nifty and Kodiak Farm, Official J Mia. Hey, everybody. Oh, wow. Thank you hey. all for coming. And thank you Hello for reading everyone. the chat. Good morning, Lee and Jamia and Bronze. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Hello. Oh. Thank you so much for coming. Everybody got their coffee or their tea today? Yes. yes. <laughs> now, Grammy, how do you, uh, are you the pencil method or the steak knife? I'm a steak knifer. Well, I'm more of a steak knifer. Are you? Yeah. So I like tried this. the pencil method, but I think my mother always did the knife method, and that's yeah. that's just Is the that way what I'm doing. doing it. Uh, yeah. I can't see. You. Hang on a second. Right. I got yeah, my. You kinda, where you're cutting like this. Yeah, I'm heavy. Oh yeah, you're so cutting. Like so that would knife. be knife. Yeah, <laughs> the knife is kind of like what I'm doing right here. Like, eh, eh, stab, <laughs> or cutting. Like if you're cutting some meat. <laughs> Got my this death wish coffee. coffee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anyway, there's a chain. And I would say practice the chain for now and see how far you get. Okay. Okay. But I just tried to make a chain just for funsies. And, uh, you know, just so you can sort of, hopefully it's slow enough. And just for the people who may be new. Um, well, and I can do this part with just my finger. Y yes, you can. Yep. You can and that's I how I learned. Do that for doing friendship bracelets. When mm -hmm. we were <laughs> yep, you can do that with your hand. Will we, we see, be able to see Sarah? Yeah, no, no, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, oh, I'm sorry, big sorry. right now. Yeah, I'm big right now. So I'll make everybody. But I just wanted to just at least get the chain done. <laughs> so we got the slip knot in the chain. Is All it right. important to count how many you do in the chain? It's yes. It, it, now, the thing is, if you're doing a, uh, What's the word I'm trying to say? If you're doing a, what is that called? If you're doing a pattern, yeah. Right. Yeah, then you would do that. But so if you're just see. like freestyle, then you can. Yeah. Because I, I always, it's like looking at your watch. Oh, it's such and such a clock. And then you, oh, I don't know what time it is. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> can I see yours? My, my yeah, we want to see though. yours. Oh. That looks pretty good. Oh, look how little petite that is. That's it's cute. very petite. That's right, because you're using the thread. Yeah, because yeah. I was I, I was interested in making doilies. Nice. For some reason. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's okay. We we love it. We love it. Yeah, and, I, th um, th I think they're gorgeous. Like I love doilies. I just don't make them. <laughs> yes. My mother got to the point that all she used was small thread. She used to make wow. tablecloths and doilies and little Christmas ornaments. Mm-hmm. The small thread. It was real pretty. Hmm. Oh no, let me see. I'm hiding you here. Let me I'm gonna switch places here. Let me mm -hmm. see. How, now how are you working at? Let me see how we're doing. <laughs> Nifty says <laughs> Lisa. <laughs> yeah, Nifty likes yours. You're doing great. Oh, thank you. I got the now let's see. Now what, what do you got going there, Miss Lisa? If you don't mind sharing, I got you big. Okay. I just got me a chain. Oh, it, it's hard great. to tell because you know it's the raffia, so Yes. But I got my chain. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's nice. I like it. I have a question. Am I the only left-hander up here? You might be. <laughs> you might be. Ms. You T. might be. <laughs> okay. I mean, I could try to do it left-handed with you. <laughs> mm, yeah, I, I've Actually, never done it. I'm so clumsy, you're though. Mm -hmm. Lefty. Oh, hang on. Let me, yep. 
left-handed people will do better to watch us, oh. the right-handers, because we're mirrored. The oh. right-handers will probably do better to watch Miss T, oh, the way the camera is angled. Yeah. yeah. Didra's, Didra's mother is left-handed, and she always had trouble learning crochet watching other people until she, you know, watched YouTube. And mm. YouTube, because it was mirrored, it was easier for her to pick up on that. But I don't know if she ever learned how to crochet or not. But Okay. Hey, All right, sweet. Fire. That's nice. Fresh and Fire's here. Hey, Fresh and Fire. I'm trying to see if I missed anybody. I'm going to say Kodiak Farm Beasley. Hey, got, got, the, got the Death Wish oh. coffee. Oh, wow. <laughs> My daughter likes that. That stuff's interesting. <laughs> good coffee. Yeah, we got bronze. We got uh, official Jamia. Hello. And uh, let me see anybody else. Uh, da, 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 da. James Money. All right. James Money, 615. And Tell then I'm biased. Said, oh, her daughter is. Drinking in the co comments. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> see, unbiased daughter is left handed and she taught herself how to crochet. Yeah. And then, uh, oh, we got. You have your yarn and needle. Yeah, you got to bring it. Or a hook. hook. <laughs> just need a yarn and a hook. So anyway, I just so so that's one of those one of the things that's really confusing. Now, of course, I don't have my my knitting by me, but um, th there there is a confusion between knitting and crochet. I mean, the biggest thing is crochet is a hook, and uh, but we're all making loops in yarn. So so knitting knitters make, but they use two knitting needles. Okay, and that's the big difference. And um, yeah, no, M biased is very talented. <laughs> I see. I agree, Miss T. <laughs> but anyway, James Money's saying uh, good morning. We got Florence Naya Dare. Nice greetings from South Africa. Nice to see you, and uh, welcome. All right, <laughs> Yoko. So yeah, so that's where we that's where we are today. Um, the one thing I wanted to just sort of jump off is Miss T had a couple of questions from last week because we were just talking about yarn and supplies and things like that. I, I would suggest for anybody, if they're learning to crochet, learning to knit, either one, find yourself a good textbook. That's beautiful. Very nice, Sarah. That's okay. how long it is. Yeah. And um, oh, we got Cool Gamer. Welcome in. Yes. So anyway, I'll show you this book real quick. Just any book that has knitting and crochet will help you get started also. Yeah, Cool Gamer has a picture. I know. I'm so excited. So this is the one that I learned on 500 years ago. The Reader's Digest Complete Guide to Needlework. And see all these different ones, embroidery, needlepoint, knitting, applique, quilting, patchwork, macrame, crochet, rug making, lace work. Mm -hmm. It was all in this book. Nice and book. Yeah. And this is an oldie but goodie. Reader's Digest has a sewing book. And, and my husband and I just bought that from one of our uh, YouTube friends. And uh, this lady has all the books. <laughs> And she said, I'm giving up my sewing book because I'm not sewing anymore. And I went, my husband's really into sewing and I'm not, but I'm trying to. But just the one reason why I always say you want to take a look at this, if I can just find the crochet section. There we go. Is to take a look at the stitches. And when you're offline, it's, it's, it's useful to figure out what the stitches, you know, what the stitches are. But anyway, this is these are some of the tools that are available. It, it gives you the tools. It gives you the stitches. So it's a good way to sort of feel your way through the process and learn what the stitches look like. So here's some stitches here. Okay. And it's they're illustrated. And it's very, very helpful that way to uh, when you're offline to, to learn how to sit. Okay. So we got the chain down. I think we're doing really well. So I'm going to exit that. <laughs> so very good. All right. Okay. <laughs> So I'm trying to see here. I'm trying to see how many I have in my room. Oh, I got 12 people. Welcome. <laughs> uh, Lisa or Sarah, are you guys able to share out as well? Oh, yeah. yeah I was going to say. I yeah, can't believe I shared out. I did. did. Okay, I did. good. Yeah, I see I'm, some some other I'm people. Still being, I'm in the stream yard part. I don't have the YouTube up, so I'm, I can't really see that part. I'll have to yeah. replay. And everything. But um. I'm, oh, I'm here. <laughs> You're here. Okay, so Nifty wants to see Miss T's chain. <laughs> I'm getting better, Nifty. Thank you for asking. She so, did. Hold on. My, Let me make you big. In my beginning stages, my uh, chain. Hi, Lisa. How are you? 
There you go. I think she meant to make Miss TB. <laughs> no, no, no. Is that Winnie the Pooh like back there? I think you were oh, the last yeah. one in. It won't. It won't let me. Where's my honey? There we go. Out of oh the situation. <laughs> yeah, we got butt files. Hey, oh, Miss T. When we first yeah. started, you know, I was kind. Of, you know, I am heavy handed, and I used the, the jab method. Yes. So, but now I'm getting more consistent. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Very nice. So happy. Very nice. Okay, I'll sh I'll show you mine. Oops. Okay. It just Welcome fell between Angie my Bush. escape. Oh, Angie's treasures. Hello. Hey. Hello. Hello. All right. Here's mine. I just dropped it on the floor. Lovely. <laughs> okay. So there's mine. So, so like, so that's kind of not that I'm perfect, but that's kind of what you want to get to because then you have to go back into those chains to consistency. Work on the first. Can we, can we see that again, please? Mine is like mine are the same kind of size, but yes, I have one little wonky I one. I right love ways to go. Yeah, Let's this one's a little wonky, but it is what it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. You want to be able to have it big enough that you that's can go back in there. I don't know if you can see those little holes there. Uh huh. But you want to be able to go back into those. So you don't want it real tight. Now, one thing that people do is they um, I think mine is too tight. They they use either a bigger yeah. hook to cast on than what the yarn asked for, or they just do it loosely. So I just did it very, very loosely. Mm -hmm. And I've got I started off there. Mine yeah. were a little tight. Yeah, yeah, I gotta work on that, I think, because oh, that's going... not a big deal. Like it's not a it's not a you know it's, it's not but I can deal. still see space that I can get the yeah the hook through. The so, hook through. And that's the thing know. that you want. Are oh, you, you know what? Do, Sarah? <laughs> what now? Are you heavy handed? Because I'm heavy handed. So I write yes, hard and I, everything. So I'm just like, Ugh. it's either too much or too little. I'm trying <laughs> to find that good middle ground. You know, what right? I mean? and, and it takes time. I mean, and it's OK. Like, you, you know, you, you you play with it. And that's what I want you to do over the week. You know, like when the weekends, just play around with it. And um, one of my friends who crocheted told me that she made one that was almost a mile long, like a, a chain. That's all mm -hmm. she did. And she just loved mm -hmm. chaining and she would chain, 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 chain. And it's cool. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's too tight. Yeah. Yeah. Nifty saying yours might be too tight, Sarah. Hey, that's, and you um, have a smaller hook, too. You have a I have the hook. smaller hook, so I have mm -hmm. to. Yep. Hey, what was I you? thinking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. I, I was curious. What kind of hook does Lisa have? I think hers was like plastic at the end or. It's a it's a actual. Um, it, no, oh. it's it's a metal hook, but it's like got the rubber. It's yes. a little bit easier to hang on to. Yes. And at, when you do a lot of crocheting and your hands get tired, um, I have arthritis yes. in my hands. And it's getting yes. worse and worse. And that's one of the reasons I don't crochet much anymore. I probably need to. Um, but this is actually very comfortable. Mm -hmm. So it's it's just a little bit, it just adds comfort. Yes, yes. And those are great. Yeah, for sure. Then we're um, trying to find you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm just trying to keep up with the comments. Uh, it's Grammy sure. Lisa Midwife Homestead. <laughs> I actually oh, yeah. did change the name oh. at the recommendation of one oh, of my okay. friends who is a big YouTuber. Um, he gives me recommendations on my oh. channel sometimes. And um, But, you know, it's okay. I still go by Grammy Midwife and Grammy's midwife suburban homestead but he said make it shorter make it sweeter and yes. and get to the point i was like okay <laughs> it's like she's got a nice haircut now <laughs> i didn't mean to me? it. They yeah. no no your name is like a nice haircut <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> good yeah yeah i was well, like so that's haircut really, that's really good nope. yeah this, i think your 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 youtube name has to be like you don't always get it right the first time, but mm -hmm. you know, people's names do evolve. I, I've seen it, yeah. So it's not oh, not yeah. uncommon. Yeah, it's cool. Let's see. Oh, that's that's pretty funny. Now I miss somebody here. Oh, we got sifting some soil and more. We got uh, Mona. Good to see you. And we have horizontal bees. That's Ricky. well. Hey, Ricky and Ricky. Let's see. Is it Ricky or Ruth? Ricky or both. And Ruth. Ricky. We'll oh, just so that's say Ricky. Hi to them both. <laughs> okay, good. I just want to make sure we got some people. I'm just going to say hi. Hi, hi. And we got Fresh and Fire Backyard Living has the chain down pat. Okay. That's good. Now we, we got to get you past the chain. 
<laughs> is my chain long enough for but that'll work yeah we, we can work with that i was there thinking maybe 10 15 the length of your chain is de is dependent on what you're doing that's correct yep yep that is correct and um like we had a whole big thing on the um so so basically i suggest if you're trying to make a specific item then get a pattern get a pattern yeah. right it, it's just i think you mm -hmm. save yourself a lot of aggravation and pain by this doing is that. like practice stitches so it's not right. like a full-blown yes but but usually for each particular blanket or doily or whatever it is you have to chain a certain number and that's the way it works and um i showed this last week this is um susan bates learn to crochet and one of the things that they have in some of these crochet books is that they give you um projects and i'll just show you the page real quick Let's see if i can get myself and Andy, me and sarah are returning to crochet after like 20 plus years and just yes. trying to get back into it yeah that's amazing oh we got natasha i forgot to say hello and right. angie prescott okay so let me see here okay come on <laughs> my fingers are doing something weird here Let's see if i can make myself big here all right come Tampa, on. i've been trying to get a hold of you i wanted to come and try to meet you today me and sarah i'm sorry oh, I, I oh she just got your message yeah i see yeah oh, okay oh auntie ellen's here oh okay let me hey, see Tampa's creek homestead surprise yes. anybody else i miss <laughs> There she is. And she's saying hi to everybody. Good to see you. Good morning, Starting Sammy Joe. Good show. to see you. Oh, Sammy Joe. Wow. Yeah, a lot of people here. I'm telling you. Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, and I got somebody on Facebook. That is exciting. Um, I didn't make <laughs> this shawl. I won yes. it. But it's keeping me warm and I love it. I love it. <laughs> got Sammy Joe. All right. Good to see you. Welcome in. All right. But anyway, so like I said, each of these books will give you some kind of patterns. And I don't know if you can see that right there, but they give you, you know, there's like a baby thing. There's um, a bag, a hat. So really the, the easiest thing to start with, you know, if you're revisiting crochet, something square. Right. <laughs> so I was thinking we can actually do sort of a dishcloth or a washcloth. Okay. It's about the right size for a face cloth or something. Yeah, face cloth, something like that. And, um, but you know, like I said, it's really simple. Um, a lot of my, my, I go to a knit and crochet group and they, they do for donations. Oh, and this is the other thing. Oh, I'm so glad I finally got there. I want everybody to think about making things for donations later on, you know, like when you get into it, cause I think that's, you, you can, you can produce a lot with crochet and you can't really use all these things. <laughs> so it's good to donate or give them to family members or whatever it's my you know. eldest daughter she did her yeah. senior project she made mm -hmm. hats for all the preemie babies and donated them yes. to them. Yeah. there we go that's yep, what preemie. i wanted to interject and yes. not just preemie babies but those babies who don't do not make it out alive oh. um we yes. also we take donations for these little bitty hats yes. to cover a baby's head um oh, wow. yeah for like burials. So yes, those are wonderful. And chemo oh, hats really nice thing. for yes. chemo patients. Mm -hmm. mm. Yes, chemo patients. A lot veterans. of donation opportunities. Yes, there That's are. That's where yes. all my crochet materials went. When my oh, daughter okay. wanted to do that project, I encouraged mm -hmm. her, yes, learn yes. crochet here. <laughs> yes. And, yeah, and also uh, nursing homes can mm -hmm. use the uh, Definitely. The hospice. You know, the yarn, hospice. Yep. While people are sitting around, um, like I said, a lot of times the people who have time, you know, they're, in, they're they're convalescing, things like that. So yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put my little banner on. There we go. So if you want to drop your link in my channel, you just have to type Kelly K E L L I. That's on Kelly's channel. You can't mm -hmm. do it on Sarah's Happy Hive. That's Sorry, That's I'm correct. still figuring all that stuff out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> hey, hey, girl. I, I turned it. into snot tubs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay hang Let's on because it's a joke and i got a whole jar yes buttons oh nice mm -hmm. <laughs> nice now let's see oh yeah so uh crazy poppy lady donates poppies 
for the oh. uh, it's Memorial Day. The Memorial Day Memorial Day. Yeah, yeah. Memorial yeah. Day. Mm-hmm. yeah she's made five thousand <laughs> since her. Oh, she's wow. been like just wow. three years. Three that's years. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot of poppies. So we appreciate you doing that. Yeah, so that's, a, that's a, a good thing. Yeah, see, the, I did some poppies and the people <laughs> didn't want them. It was funny. They were like, this, oh, that's nice. <laughs> this is a pipe cleaner flower. Oh, that's <laughs> cute. I oh, made that cute. earlier. <laughs> All right. All right, now are we ready for the single crochet? All I think right. so. Yes. Let's see you do it first and then. <laughs> oh, you okay. do have a new name. Grammy's beekeeping and bookie. Yeah, the home setting. home setting, yes. Yeah, I like it. And there's Laura Power. Hello. Yeah, yeah be sure to check Facebook. out the yeah. um, Grammy's kitchen videos. I like watching. I, it's like <laughs> I'm sitting in her kitchen with her. I'll yeah. grab my coffee and get her video going. And like, okay, I'm visiting Lisa today. Yes. <laughs> I'm going to be doing one soon with my chickens. So. Okay. Oh, that's cool. I love yeah. chickens. They're they're amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I, I have a chicken coop. It's so sad. Well, anyway, I'll I'll tell you that story behind the scenes. <laughs> But anyway, let me, let me let me mention these two comments because these are good. Um, so Tampa's Creek Homestead said, I've always wanted to learn how to crochet, but I never could get the little circle right. So we'll talk about crocheting in the round. We're going to get there. <laughs> we'll get There's, there. Yeah, that's the magic circle. And a lot of people, that's a big deal. Um, and then, yeah, Angie's Treasures. I like this. Yeah, the mug rug to start or coasters. Yeah, anything square. Squarish is good. Mm-hmm. And it's small enough and it, you can get it done and you... You feel a sense of accomplishment right away. Because like I said, I want to just make sure people understand that a lot of this stuff is not microwave. You, you have to take the time and enjoy the process because it will take a little bit of time. But that's OK. Mm-hmm. You, know? Okay. you know? Yeah. And and that's I would just that, that's the one thing. Oh, OK. Oh, Gquat says um, I. Oh, yeah. You donate caps to local NICUs. I love it in the area. Sweet. And then uh, <laughs> Fresh and Fire saying square is usually the shape I end up with. So that's good. All right. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Some of these comments. Yeah, this is awesome. And then Nick's Techniques. I like that name. Sammy Joe. Hey. And uh, good idea, Angie, about the mug rugs. I like that. Yep. And then, uh, yep, Grammy's saying hi. Grammy's Beekeeping and Homesteading. I love it. I like That is a good name. I like it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yes, yes. And then Ola, Maritza. Okay, and then Nifty saying good luck. Well, thanks for stopping in. I don't know if you have to dip off, but we appreciate you. Tamika, good supporter. Shatika, good supporter. Yes, we appreciate all the love. I do. Yeah. (laughs) Most definitely. Yes, yes. All right. Okay. Oh, here. let's see. Here's a piece of advice. Poppy Lady saying, ask the place you plan. Oh, yes. That's a very good piece of advice. I'm going to put that on the screen. Okay, you have to make sure, check with the um, agency what you're allowed to donate. Because they may say, don't do wool. Like, I've heard that a lot of times. They'll say, mm-hmm. don't do something with wool in it or whatever. Right. Um, things like that. Just ask the uh, rules and regulations of how they, you know. And usually they want a certain size, too, for a lot and of And remember, stuff. too, when you wash those items, to do yep. them in fragrance-free, dye-free detergent. Yep. Yep. Yeah, because not everybody can handle the... Mm-hmm. fragrance right. yeah. yeah right so that's <clears> wonderful <throat> so that's awesome <laughs> so i like it all right now let's take a look i'm going to change my setting here we'll, we'll do the single crochet okay now normally when you get to the end of your chain with a single crochet they say to chain one or but um but anyway and that and that's that's the one thing so let me just talk a little before i i'm jumping ahead a little bit um Usually when you finish your first row, you always have to chain a number to continue to the second row. So with a single crochet, you're always going to chain one. And you're going to go directly into the set. You're going to go into the second stitch from the hook to start your single mm-hmm. crochet. And um, so there's single crochet. There's half double crochet. There's double crochet. There's treble crochet. And it goes from there. But each stitch gets progressively bigger. Okay, so let me let me. I'm switch familiar the with them. I just I need a refresher. <laughs> sure. All right. Let me see here. Come on. It's all right. I just had to do one so I so I know I remembered it or not. Mm-hmm. Now, do you remember? So, are you, are you good? <laughs> yes, I did. How? Yeah. I. How do you chain one? But but before you do that, I'll show you. I'll show you. We already have you, your chain. Yeah, you won't have to chain one, 
But oh yeah, and actually, yeah, I see. Okay, here we go. So oops. I'm gonna go two over. Yeah, so go into the then... second into the second chain here. So this chain, the the loop that's on your hook does not count. Oh, I forgot to make myself big. Sorry. Okay. All right. Always forget to do that. Let's see. And come on. Got to do it this way. I'm going to have to swap, swap my self over here. Okay, there we go. Okay. So if you see here, this is your loop that's on your hook. This mm -hmm. does not count. But you count down one, two. You go to the second one. And I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. A little closer. But I'm going to go into this. So for a single crochet, you go into the chain. Okay. You're going to wrap. Because every, every crochet stitch, you're going to do some wrapping. Wrap it around the hook. And you pull through all of them. So you'll have one left on your... I'm going to do it again. So then you go. So then you go to the next chain. Wait, so I do, think I did it. Yep. So you go in. <laughs> you pull up. You pull up a. Oh boy, a bird. A bird just hit my um sliding glass wow. door. I oh, love wow. it when they oh, do no. that. Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's terrible. I know. I'm like, oh, okay. So now you have two on your hook. Then you wrap it and go through both. So I'm gonna do it one more time. So I'm gonna go into the next one. So you insert that. your hook there. You pull up a loop. And you got two on your hook, and then you wrap it and go through both. And you're going to have this nice little, looks like a little bit of a ladder. Now, I'm doing this really, really loosely. But normally, if you were crocheting, you might do it a little bit tighter. But I'll do it again. So you go into that chain. You pull up a loop. So then you have two on your hook. And then you wrap it and go through both. And that's the single crochet. Okay. And I'll, I'll do one more. And then uh, any questions? And hopefully people can see this. So you go into this one. This is my little chain right here is wonky. You pull up. Uh, you, you go into the chain. You have two loops on your hook. You wrap it and pull through both. Yeah. And then you just keep going <laughs> until you get to the end. And when you get to the end of your chain row, you're gonna pull, you're gonna chain one and turn your work. And you're always turning your work when you get to the end of the row. And then you're gonna chain up whatever the number of stitches are, it, depending on which stitch you're doing. But single crochet, you're gonna chain one at the end of the row and turn your work. Through. Okay, so you can see it. Oh, good, Tampa. Awesome. I'll do one more and then I'm gonna take make myself puny again. Wrap it. So you go in, cool. you go directly in, and you pull up a loop, and then you wrap it and go through two. Pull up a loop. That's yeah, what I you, forgot to do. Yeah, you always got to pull up a loop. And every stitch, no matter what the stitch is, that's what you do. So you go in, you pull up a loop, you grab the, you know, you grab the, the chain, the yarn part that you're tensioning, you pull up a loop. And then you wrap it and go through both. All right. Yeah, yeah. And okay. this is kind of real speed. I'm not a fast crocheter, but this is kind of what you, you know, want to see as you're going along. And, and then I'm going to take myself down big. And we'll continue. But this is what you're going to. I'm going to take my hook out of there for a second, but there, this is what it looks like. Single crochet. And you're going to see these little braids on the top. And when you go into your second row, you're going to go in through these braids at the top. But we'll talk about that later. But this is kind of what you want to see. Ding, ding. <laughs> yeah, my phone is going off. <laughs> I know. It's funny how you're very, you're very popular. Like nobody called me, so I'm like, <laughs> Okay, okay, let me see, Sarah. No, okay, and there's Lisa. Okay, let me put, 
We'll put Sarah up first. Oh, no, we got Lisa first. Got Whoops. Lisa up there. Lisa first. There we go. That looks good. So, Rafi, a- it's hard to keep consistent. <laughs> Yeah, Rafia Rafi is nice because it's it's a, it's a natural product. Like, that's pretty cool, right. right? Okay, so let's see. Lisa, can I get you in here? Come on, Cletus. <laughs> My little fingers are not working. Come on. There we go. Okay, that looks good. All right, let me try and do some more. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, now, Miss T, how are you doing? Uh, I've only done two, so I'm still... That's okay. You want to show yours? You want I mean, to keep not going. really nothing to show at the moment, but okay. Well, we, you can keep going. You can keep okay. going. Yeah, you can keep going. I'm gonna just fix ourselves here. But th- that's kind of what we want to do. You know what I mean? So let me change my camera. This Back. is the single crochet. This is single crochet. Yep. So single crochet, you don't. So anyway, the other stitches you wrap them first, but the single crochet you go directly into the chain first. And then you wrap. So it's a, it's the only one that's a little bit different from the rest. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So if you compare the single to the half double to the double, that's the difference. So the single crochet, you go directly into that chain. All right. Let me fix my settings here. And uh, this is cool, though. Yeah. So like I said, I just like to um, show everybody, you know, what it looks like. And then bam. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right. See if I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> okay. Yes. This is good. I love it. But everybody's doing great. Yeah. And you guys have done it before. So that you know, that's kind of the caveat to people. But it does come back to you. And and crochet, I think, is pretty easy in terms of the steps. Like I think the steps are pretty simple. And yeah. um, you just need one little, you know, one little ball, one little hook. Kelly, uh, I've got a blanket that my mother made of nothing but single crochet. <gasps> that is the heaviest yes, blanket. I believe it. <laughs> <laughs> I made I one recently. It, it is heavy. Yeah, it's very heavy. I she never learned made how to do double crochet not long after that. She goes, oh, wow, my blanket's not as heavy. And it yes. like, goes twice as fast. I'm like, yeah. Yes. <laughs> but that is such a heavy. T- and she was very tight with her knot wow so it's yes. very heavy yes and that's for sure that is for sure that that yes that's been my experience actually because <laughs> i just mm-hmm. made a bl- blanket with single crochet and it's heavy as heck <laughs> it's very heavy mm-hmm. so that's beautiful but i love i love this yes um let me see oh so what the other thing i want to talk about too um start a group start a crochet group and uh or find a crochet group or knitting group and a lot of churches do it you know as a like an outreach and mm-hmm. a lot of libraries do it yeah so if you're you know if you're or if you can't find one that in your local area try to uh start one yourself mm-hmm. and uh it's good to have other people around because it gets you thinking about just stuff to do you know what i mean it's like the creativity rubs off of each other and things like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So we got gun line beads, bees. Look. Hi, Hi, Hannah. Hannah. Hi, Hannah. Hello. I'm so sorry I couldn't make it this morning. I'm tied up. Oh, I understand. Hey, it, you know, you got a lot going on. It's all right. Yes. Yeah, we hope yeah, we hope everything's okay. We're yeah. just glad you're checking in and we'll say an extra prayer. Yes. Yes. But that's awesome. So oh that's good. All right. So let me see what else. I have my notes here. <laughs> Um, all right. So we did the slip knot and the chain and we're working on the single. So we're, we're moving, we're moving and grooving this morning. Um, oh, materials. Now we talked in, 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 you know, oh, Facebook. Yes. Facebook pages, local community, Facebook pages. Yeah. And, and our library all have, all have Facebook pages and they do their group or their activity schedule is on their Facebook page in all the libraries. And most of the libraries in my area do the, um, have a Facebook page with the activities. Yeah. Yep. So that's good. Okay. Oh, you want to see what it's supposed to look like? Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> Fire wants to know. Yep. Uh, I want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. No, I did not. Okay, good. But anyway, once again. Oh, it's so little and cute. It's, it's it so is little. cute. <laughs> let, me see, let me see if I can. 
make you big. Hold on. I got to switch. The teeny tiny rope ladder. Yes. Uh. There we go. <laughs> yeah, it is teeny. I can't believe you started with thread. Now, did you ever do regular yarn or, or did, were yeah. you always a doily person? I, um, these were the size the needles or hooks. These mm. were my mom's. Oh, wow. She passed them. Well, I think I bought the blue one, but the other ones were my mom's. Yes. So I did do larger thread. It's just, this is all I had. Yes. Um, yeah, the, the girls took all my yarn. Okay. <laughs> well, I don't want you, like I said, I, I, the other thing that I talked about last week is I don't want everybody to go out and spend thousands of dollars on Right. Stuff. Yeah. Yep. So the thing is Goodwill, you know, church bazaars. Usually Facebook Marketplace, a lot of people D stash, D whatever on yep. there. And I think I, almost I, every yard sale I've been to you has a bag of either some yarn or where yes. they started crocheting and they gave up and they're selling it. They yep. sell it. <laughs> That's correct. Mm -hmm. That's yep. correct. So let's see here. Let me go here. I'm gonna show you. I'll, I'll go I'll show um fresh and fire what this looks like. I'll change my camera real quick. This Okay, so this is what it, now I didn't finish the row yet, but this is what it looks like. It looks kind of like a ladder is what I would say. Mm -hmm. And at the top here, you see these little braids and uh, there we go. We're in. Yep. And then this is the back side of it, but it's kind of the same. You see, actually the front side of it gives you this little, you see this little line across, like a train track kind of there, mm -hmm. but that's sort of what it looks like. Yeah. And uh, what I'll do is I'll finish the end, but that's what it looks like. And then if you guys, if you see any comments, if you could just read those for a second and I'll get in here, I'll finish, I'll finish this little end here and I'll show you what to do when you turn, but I'm just going to go through and do this. And hopefully my fingers are not blocking the camera. <laughs> Try not to block the camera. Cause I normally don't wouldn't crochet on a table, but I just want to show you, Oh yeah, Miss T, you see this piece of fabric right here? Mm -hmm. This was actually yarn. Really? And I call it Cookie Monster. <laughs> it looks kind of like Cookie Monster, like his fur. Oh, did you and, make uh, that? I, yeah, yeah. And it's, uh, I don't know what they call it, but it's one of those, they call it fancy yarns or variety yarns where it's kind of, it's not the usual, like a, like a straight line like this. But I don't know if you can see this here. I have a, a little bit of a tail, but what it is is it's it's made on a track. You see, it looks like a little braid right there. Mm -hmm. And then the fuzzy part is there. So I don't know if you can see that. And then what you do is you crochet along this track or knit. Okay. And then that's how you do it. But this is one of these wacky yarns that I bought. And I said, let me just see what I can do with it. And it's really only good for um, kind of showing a little bit of a background. <laughs> at least for uh, me. Tampa, yeah, at least in my know, opinion. Tampa yep. Creek said, uh, what's the best yarn to use when crocheting? Okay. So the the cro what I would say is a worsted weight or a medium weight yarn, which is what I'm using right now. So I'll give you some examples would be um, Red Heart Super Saver. If you shop from the big W store mainstays, if you shop at Joann's, it would be called uh, Big Twist. And it, it it and I'll show you. Of course, I don't have one with a ball. <laughs> I mean, I, the gold. Remember all that yarn I had last week? Mm -hmm. I put it away. <laughs> I put it away. But uh, hang on, just a sec. I do have one with a ball band on there. But I'll show you. So I'm at the end of my row here. So this is the last one. So this is what it looks like. Okay. So I'm at the very end. Here's my tail. I don't know see if you can see the tail there. Here we go. But what I'm going to do to continue is you chain one like that. Mm -hmm. And then you turn your work. So I'm physically turning my work. And then I'm starting on this end here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to continue in this direction. <laughs> And so what you do is see the top of these braids here. I'm going to go into this braid like this. 
I'm putting going through both sides of the V's there. See that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to pull up a loop where you have two. And then I'm going to wrap it and go through both. And that's how you turn your work and chain up. And I'm going to go through these two, the two parts of the V there. Make sure my finger is not in the way. Pull up a loop. You have two. And then you yarn over. That's what they call it, a yarn over. And you pull through both. And that's your single crochet. So I'm going, I'm starting down the second row there. And I don't know if you can see that, but there it is. But it's getting taller. So this is the first row here. Let me make it flat. And then this is the second row up here. That's how you continue down the row. But if you're making like a mug rug, you might want to chain, I don't know, maybe 10, 15, 20. Maybe not 20, but a little bit smaller than that because a mug's not real big. But and then you just continue until you, you make your square, you know, until it's square. And then you just continue. Mine is going to be well, by the time. Kelly, gonna can you, oh, Kelly, can you bring your hand? There you go. I yeah, couldn't sorry, see I, it because I, I, of the. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I keep forgetting to do that. Yep. So there it is there. So I'm going to go do it again. I'm and they say, what is a mug rug? A mug rug is, um, it's sort of like a, like a coaster. You put a, uh, you put your, you put like, you put your mug, you know, put your mug on it so you don't wreck your wooden table, you know, <laughs> like a coaster. Yep. But it might be maybe 10 stitches, 10 chains. You might start with, let me get a little closer here. But anyway, one more time. So I'm going to go into the top of this braid. Then you pull up a loop and you got two on your hook and then you yarn over and pull through both. And I'll just do a couple more and then I'll dip. I'll come back down again. But that's how you continue down the. Oops, sorry, y'all. Yep. Yep. <laughs> hey, almost homesteading. Yes. Hey, almost homesteading. Good to see you. The crafting time. Crafting time. <laughs> okay. But anyway, so you continue down, and that's how you that's how you go. And that's the single crochet. So when you get to the end of your row, you chain up one, you turn your work, and then you just continue down the opposite direction. And that's crochet just in general. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let me uh, switch back. I think uh, the, the bee community is waking up in the homesteaders, uh, almost homesteading. DC's here again. Um, mm -hmm. Let me see who else is there. Oh, I saw Kodiak. Morning, yes. Dave. Yeah, Kodiak was there. Yep. <laughs> DC's bees is Dave. Okay. I'm not good with the government names. I, I get so comfortable with saying everybody's youtube name i do too it was weird for me to say because i found out that he was a dave and i'm like but you're dc yes <laughs> <laughs> that's correct how are you i bring it i'm so used to calling everybody by their youtube names then like people were like oh that's kelly that's tom and i'm like who who is that <laughs> i know you're like who's that yeah but, but it's weird like i in my brain i guess my brain has been pretty good over the last few years so i know most people's both by both <laughs> so i'm good like i'm like oh yeah <laughs> which is weird i don't know but, but uh so, so how's everybody feeling and okay can't stop walking but love mowing and cruising hey i meant to say hey earlier hello, hello, can't, hello. Stop, can't, stop. can't stop can't stop won't stop can't stop, won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> things I like that Two rows down. Oh, that looks good. Wait, hold on. Let me make you big. I love it. But uh, but do you understand the... Um, yes. Now, you're getting a little tight. Just, you I know. Am. I told you, I'm heavy-handed. I just want to... Take a breath. Take That's a breath. it. I want it now. <laughs> no, 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 no. I know. <laughs> Rx nails. Like, getting a little tight. <laughs> I was like, breathe. Just you got to like, breathe. breathe. We're gonna do Take that. a five yeah. second, and I'm going to teach you something very valuable. Yes. Hey, Rx. As you ball. breathe in, uh -huh. count five seconds. Mm -hmm. Release slowly. 
and then shake it off because it, it off. wasn't yours. It wasn't yours. Okay. It's not yours. <laughs> shake it <laughs> off. When, I, when they first started calling your name all over the YouTube streets, I was like, who in the heck are they talking about? Who? Yeah. <laughs> That's now, funny. Yeah, I do know now. So okay, so calm it, down, count to five. You got to just yeah, count to five, take a breath. All right. I'm going to show you some yarn while you're working. Okay. As we're going. So last week, um, you asked for some blanket yarn. Okay. I had to I had to go digging because I don't buy that. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to go back this way. I'm okay. telling you. Okay, there we go. This was much easier. Yeah, for some reason, my 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 when I touch the screen, it's so slow. So Miss T, take a look at this. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> and it's very, very thick. Like it looks very, warm. Very, yeah. very, very warm. Is that like Chanel? Um, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> but but it looks like. I close. Mean... Yeah, I guess it is. I'm thinking of this of the shiny stuff, like, like velvety. But I guess, yeah, it is Chanel. And it's, um, this is from, you know, Rest in Peace, A.C. Moore. <laughs> Stitch Studio by Nicole. <laughs> and um, I, I forget how I ended up with this thing. I only have one. You need about 10 of these to make a good blanket. But mm -hmm. uh, but it's very, very thick. And let me let me read you. Oh, so it's a super bulky, number six. And they say to use a eight millimeter knitting needle or a size K crochet hook. And let me show you this. Yeah, you can make me a blanket anytime. You can make <laughs> These are nice, but, but look at, so anyway, oh, but there's one thing I wanted to show you on these, uh, on the yarn, when you buy it, it tells you what it's made out of, it gives you all the info, 100% polyester, 258 yards, 234 meters, 300 grams or 10.5 ounces. So it's a number six, super bulky. This is the, you know, the knitting needle to use eight millimeter. Um, this is the crochet hook here. And this is that infamous swatch, Miss T. So let me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull in there real close. See that swatch? So it yeah. says eight rows by eight single crochets across, way down there. And then eight rows will give you the four by four square. Should. Okay. Should yeah. give you the, <laughs> that depends on your tension, but that's just a guy. Mm -hmm. And tell you. So it tells you what's on here. And then the other thing is this tells you too how to wash it. So it's machine wash. Now, I don't, these these symbols make me crazy because I like words mm -hmm. instead of pictures. <laughs> okay. Me too. But this means machine wash on gentle. Do not iron. The third one on the left is do not iron. And then the fourth one is do not bleach. So I, did you say it takes about 10 of those to make a decent sized blanket? I would say, yeah. You, like a blanket. Um, well, this is a jumbo. Maybe not quite that much much but um you like they say a, a good blanket's like three thousand yards of a of a worsted weight mm -hmm. and so there's only 200 meter 200 yards on here so you probably need like 10 yeah you're gonna need about 10 to, uh, you uh, have 10 of those? 10 a good one pardon how many uh things of yarn of that do you have just that one just one because they see more went out of business like how dare yeah. they so what are you gonna do with that one ball of yarn? I don't know. Okay. I could I, I could I could amagurumi that, you know. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the chat's hopping. Yeah, I see some people. Let's see. We saw DC's bees. We saw gunline bees. Hello. <laughs> Bad memories when Bob and Lee used to work at live only multi chats. Yeah, they can be, you know, they can be interesting. But as long as everybody's polite, it 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 can work, right? All right. We have, so. we have good. And then uh, almost home sitting said, I should finish the hat I'm crocheting while we're in crafty mode. You should. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And then a crazy poppy lady says, the looser you hold the yarn, the quicker you can pull the loop through. See, my so that problem means is, you get better. Yeah. Like I said, I'm heavy handed. So, like you said, the first row, my first chain was like all nice and yeah, cold. it was beautiful. Now, now it's getting a little, you know, I'm getting comfortable. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Yeah. Oh, DCBs is chat hopping. Thanks for chat hopping. That's good. So, yes. Lisa, how do you? I don't know. How how do I keep the same looseness? Because like once I start getting more and more comfortable, I go back to that tension, yeah. that tightness again. Practice. This keeps. 
repetition. You know how to be loose handed. Hey, call me Mr. Broad Street. Yeah, just yeah, just do a little <laughs> meditating before. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yep. Get up, walk around. Yeah, call me Mr. Broadsweet. Hello. And this yeah. is a good form of meditating, concentrating on the thread and the hook and the getting yeah, them go. through. <sighs> <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Okay, just take a deep breath. Focus. Yes. <sighs> That's it. Sarah, left, I mean, Grammy left us. Yes. We're oh, no. Oh, maybe she'll come back. She'll come back. I'll be looking for her. Yeah, and there's Isela. Good to see you, Isela. And then uh, Populate is saying, when you work with your chain, use a larger hook than the rest of your project. Yeah, keeps your project from bowing. Yeah. Bowing. Okay. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah. know. Hang on. I'm going to write this down. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Yeah, so usually what you do is the yarn chain. will tell you what hook to use. And I would say use that as a guide. But it, for your initial starting chain, you can use a slightly bigger hook than what the yarn calls for. And that's one way to make it loose to start out with. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because yeah. that first row right. is always problematic. And even, even in knitting, it's the same thing. It's that first, you know, the cast on row is always really tight. Or you try not to make it too tight. So that oh, first row is the make or break of everything, really. And then maintaining good tension. So it takes a minute, you know. Oh, okay. Oh, she she froze. Okay, Lisa froze, but she'll be she'll be back. Yeah, mm -hmm. we're looking for you. <laughs> Scream out all your tension. <laughs> See, that's my tension is doing the same thing, Miss T. I'm I'm just trying yeah. to get the feel for right. it. Yeah, and, and this is all this is all this is for. Yeah, just get yeah. the feel. Get and the now feel. that my second row is tighter, it's harder to find my yes my loop. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now. Do you know what you you can actually frog it back to the beginning chain? She's saying words the bowing. I need terms bowing and frog. Bowing. Yeah, frog means take it apart. Take it apart and start over. Yeah, <laughs> look it's back to square crochet, one. Yeah, crochet is easy to you know what I mean. If you go, ugh, I don't like the way that looks. Boom, it's just that simple. Yep, it's difficult to do it in in um, knitting. <laughs> well, I was gonna say quilting. And quilting, yeah. Yep. And then you, you get to sewing with the sewing machine and you get yes. a good rhythm and then the bobbin thread is empty. I hate that so much, yeah. <laughs> then yep. you got to go with that. And then if it does the seam ripper. Yes. What's up, all right? So you to have to take out today? all that. But with the crochet, it's just like, look, I'll, rep I'll demonstrate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's so easy, right? <laughs> it's like boom. And there you go. Oh, I got the knot where my slip now was. <laughs> but you know, and an acrylic yarn is easy to, you know, rip or frog, <laughs> they say, take it apart. So frog. Frog. I you like that. Like I got a bunch of frogs oh, living frog. in my pond. I got a little pond in my front yard. Yeah, I do too. That's oh, funny. almost homesteading also is a homesteader and I mean a, a crocheter in Indiana. Uh, okay. About the frog, a rug. After I finished the hat, I made it too big. Uh, yeah, yeah, I do sometimes. that all the time. Mm. Yeah, in my opinion, hats stop them at six inches, like around the crown, mm -hmm. or even like a little bit smaller. Because once if it if it gets bigger than six inches, it doesn't fit a lot of people. Wow. Yeah, that's my opinion. I, I've noticed that over the years. Of, of, of I was about to say Paul, but we're not on my channel, per se. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Carry on, carry on. Carry um, on. But anyway, make sure you guys all uh, join each other's channels. We would like, we all like to grow. Even though I normally don't do this, but I think people don't feel like I want to grow. <laughs> so I would like to grow also. Well, so I'm subscribed to you, and I do... <laughs> I look for if you're subscribed, to, I go to subscribe to you and I look for because yes. I want to be able to keep watching. I'm I like watching everybody's videos. Me too. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I love I love all the different things, you know. And I've learned so much on YouTube, I have to say, you know. Me too. The YouTubes, as my uh father in law says. <laughs> he always goes the YouTubes. <laughs> But yeah, I've learned a lot. My husband really got me into it, actually. And um, 
I think that's like all we watch. And it's funny, ever since uh, he retired, it's just been like YouTube. <laughs> Everything's been YouTube, which is weird. I didn't think we would become YouTube people, but that's what we are. Oh, Grammy yeah. said as soon as her husband got home, the internet started acting up. Um, <sighs> you men. <laughs> yeah. Lauren said she's crocheting with... Uh, I'm doing a single crochet around my cancer blanket and oh, uh, nice. so soil. Her and FR go live at night, and she said that she learned a lot from YouTube. Yeah. Now, the, the caveat to all this <laughs> is this: I don't think YouTube is the ideal way to learn knit or crochet, but it's helpful. <laughs> Pinterest. I well, see, ugh. I love Pinterest, but I hate it at the same time. Well, and there's like some things. Hole. Yeah, it's there's some hole. things. But I, I think guess you your see best bet yeah. is the go to the library, especially if you don't have a big budget, because yes. the, the go to the library, get some of those yep. books. Yep. You do definitely buddy up. <laughs> yeah, I think, you know, like find one of those old, I hate to say old ladies, but, you know, those, find one of those people that's done it for years. And, um, my here we go there's lisa okay welcome Maybe. back did she freeze oh she froze as soon as i put her up <laughs> hey there's scott <laughs> Why, let me, let me, have, if you go to his live streams and catch yeah, him let me see i'll like, see if she can come scott back in. is in the building oh my you get like a big confetti and everything scott! and everything Thank you for coming today. <laughs> yeah, she fell out again. Aww. Oh, well, come on, Grammy. Don't quit trying. <laughs> yes. So, oh, yeah, Goodwill. Yep, Goodwill is, is one almost homesteading. Yeah, a lot yep, of we gotta revisit Goodwill. The thrift mm -hmm. We have one around here called uh, San Suchi, and they mm -hmm. have a lot of good. And there's yeah. Jags. Oh, and also flea markets, my friend. Yes. <laughs> if you can make one. There's so a Scott Old Fart Gaming. Yes, good to see you. So many good things. You know, Pinterest is great, but I think unfortunately, um, the tutorial aspect of Pinterest. I don't know. Do you do you see good? You see that where Tampa, where Tampa yeah. said Pinterest is her boyfriend. I, right. I mean, it. Yeah, it's a rabbit hole. Like I feel like you can go on there and be on there for hours. <laughs> I have. I've. I'm yes. so guilty of doing that. Yes. Yeah. Let's see. Now, whose blanket, Miss T? The uh, oh, the the Laura. Laura. Yeah. Yeah. We got to see your blanket. Yep. Yep. So many good things on Pinterest. Oh no, she got discouraged. Tampa, what happened? Oh. Don't get discouraged. Are you talking about your live stream, or was it like how'd it go? Like, what's you got to share? Because uh, you got some I experienced missed, YouTubers here. I missed it. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what she said there. She got discouraged. Oh. If you're still here, we'll, we'll we'll talk you through it. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Mm -hmm. Just take a take a breath. Yes, and uh, Laura's doing the single crochet. All right, I love it. Yeah, I love it. Uh, yeah, thank nice. you, DC. It does take time for the lives. I think she's talking about her live stream. It does take time for live streams to get better over time. Yes, yes. Yeah. like anything else. Like you, it, you know, it takes time. It's practice. And you have to find your 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 secret sauce. You know what 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 keeps your live streams going. You know what I mean. Everybody's a little bit different. I mean, there's a basic concept of, of as to what to do, but I think um, you know you have to find your way. You have to find your way. What makes you comfortable? What turns you on? That keeps your juices flowing and things like that. Because I think a lot of people like to go on live stream and they just mm -hmm. like I said, they're gonna hate me, <laughs> but here it is. I just think you got to give people something good to watch, in my opinion. And this that's one I me. think turned out a little better. Let me see here. I'm gonna make you big. Hold on. Yep, find your joy and share it. There you go. Yes, DC's bees. I love it. Oh, that looks good. Ooh, you I are you summed up a little bit. Okay. I just kind of on that mm. exhale where you feel it gets a little yes loose. <sighs> yes okay and then, okay I can okay there's gunline bees all right yes. we add in yeah. hello hey good morning y'all hey, hey hannah hang on i'm trying to get my volume to work 
No, you Technical sound, you difficulties. Sound fine. Yeah, you sound fine. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. You got some yarn and stuff? Hang on. I don't okay. have any kind of volume here. You can't hear us? We, we can, can hear, hear you. you. We can hear you fine. Uh, yes, I don't know. <laughs> Tampa's still here. Yeah, but like I said, good luck, Tampa. Okay. On your now, maybe. Are you okay. good? Um, okay. Yeah, finally. I got it figured out. Okay, oh, good. Yeah. Excellent. I'm sorry. Yes. I just no, no, want to jump in and say good morning. Yes. Good morning. Yeah, thank you. I don't have I'm any of my anything. I'm glad That's to okay. see you too, Sarah. <laughs> just just <laughs> chat really with us better. all. Because um, I'm sure we're going to do this again with Kelly. Because she brings it every day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. I that was good. Every day. <laughs> every day. <laughs> Don't lie, Bees brings it every day too. I see them time to time on live streams. <laughs> okay. Oh, <my> <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So let me see. Okay. So Tamp. Oh, J Jags. Hey, how are you? Um, let's see. Oh, let's see. Almost homesteading said people were in a panic trying to record the vids and then getting them uploaded in live by midnight Tampa. So I think most of the community were able to watch lives. Oh, okay, here we go. Uh, EC Let's wants see. to see uh, Tim Crochet. Y'all ain't to say this and do no crochet. Look, the what tables happened? have turned, y'all. Yes, yes. Tim is the only man. Yes. And a bunch of Finally. ladies. Finally. Now she knows what I feel like all the time. That's why I ain't hanging out, ladies. Aww. I ain't got a dog in the hunt. Oh wow! You said it. Welcome back, Grammy. Yeah, good to see you. Oh, my phone. Oh, hey, yeah. Good. Set it in a good place, and there we okay. go. Got Lisa back. Yes, good to see you. All right, see you, Lisa. Hey, get Lee up here. He knows how to crochet and so. Yeah, we yeah we love yeah. My, even my husband crochets a little bit. Yeah, he learned a little bit. Lee knows how to crochet. That's what he just said. I'm looking yeah. at it in the I'm chat. Trying, mm -hmm. I'm trying to pull the chat up on my computer. Yeah, Jig said he knows how to crochet, but we've yet to see. We it. have yet to see any of that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to trash talk you. <laughs> Tell him to jump in here and show us some of his work. Right. Y'all yeah. yeah. been making me want to get back into it. I used to do it all the mm -hmm. time growing up. My mom did it. My grandma did it. Yes. But it's been so long since I had time to just sit and crochet. Yeah. Well, and I'm mean, thinking because yeah. I've been talking to my doctor about quitting smoking. Mm -hmm. And this... That'll Maybe occupy the your hands. Yes, because I I can go for my I can go for a while without cigarette. I sleep, I go eight hours or whatever I sleep every night without one. Okay. But then when I wake up, I want one. Wow. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, Lee just sent him a picture of a quilt he made. Really? And it's pretty incredible. Wow. That's amazing. See, I love that. I don't know. Maybe it'll show it on the, the phone. If you come close, yeah. Pretty, oh, that's it. It's really nice. Let me see yeah. if I can. Yeah. Make you Let me make you big. Hold on. We're impressed, okay. Lee. I didn't know you had it in you, Lee. <laughs> <laughs> that's really nice. I yeah. thought that was awesome. Yes. That's nice. All right, now. Speaking of coffee, I gotta go warm up my coffee. I'll be right back. I understand that. <laughs> yes. Right. Cannot be without the coffee. Yes. No, you need the coffee. I had mine already. <laughs> all right. I did it all day. Let me see. Uh somebody's watching YouTube videos all day. Let me see. That's almost homesteading. While I clean, there are a million to watch. That is correct. Uh-huh. Um, uh oh, DC's yelling at 
Miss Sarah, quit smoking. Uh oh. I didn't know she I, smoked either. Yeah. <laughs> well, and I talk to her every day, literally. Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's one of those things. Remember how it used to be cool? <laughs> and I think people bought that marketing ploy or whatever. I think anyway. everybody vapes now. Yeah, they. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's not your place. Diet Mountain Dew? Wow. Ooh. See what that stuff does to your teeth. It's not good. <laughs> well, the sugar run anyway. Yeah. And Jags is saying hello. Hello. All right. Hey, yep. I sent Jags the link if he wants to show us his quilt. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm see, curious we'll see, we'll see. about that. <laughs> yep. So, so wow. So everybody got everybody got the chain. So that's beautiful. Everybody got the single crochet. That is beautiful. Now, there's one little thing I can show you that's sort of related, and that's the slip stitch. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. oh, so weaning down. Okay, good. <laughs> Before we start, uh, no line beads. What type of yarn do you use? What? what type of yarn do you use? Because I know Grammy's using the Ross. How do you say that? Raffia. Raffia. What kind uh, do you specialize in? Girl, I don't specialize. I just get whatever's on sale and I like. And, yeah. No, it makes um, sense. Yeah, I just kind of, you know, when I get in the mood and my hands will cooperate, but I have really bad arthritis in my hands, oh, so okay. I can't do it near as much as I like to, yes. but I like using, like, the the really soft baby blanket type of yarn is my mm -hmm. favorite, I guess. Okay. Baby yarn. Yeah, so that's one of those things. It's interesting. Um Baby yarn is, well, it's the colors, you know, the coloration of it is, is nice. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times it's, it's, a, it's supposed to not have any um, exotic chemicals in it. Yeah. And, and, and so that's kind of cool. So you'll see it'll, it'll be pale yellow, white, uh, pale yeah. green, pale purple, and then variations of that. You know, oh. in, in, which is pretty good. Is cool. able to spell that for me so I can give it to Almost Homestead? The name of Grammy's yarn. Right. Wait, can you say that again, Ms. Uh, Almost Homesteading wants to know the kind of yarn Grammy is using. Can somebody spell oh, okay. that so I can put it in the. Oh. It's it's not a yarn. It's actually a natural product that you use to weave baskets and hats with, but it's called raffia. Yeah, it's raffia. And it's like a plant or it's like a plant. There we go. Or something Thank like you, that. It's yeah. just what I had found. I had started making a beach hat um with mm -hmm. it years ago, and that's what I could find quickly to come mm -hmm. on here with. <laughs> Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't suggest that to start out. No, with. No, don't start with that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, just stick with your basic, uh, you know, worsted weight or. Yeah, worsted or weight is best to start with, and preferably, mm -hmm. like I said in another chat, not yeah. brown or black. Get something that's yes. easy to see. Right. Yeah. Yep. I'll show I you something. That. I'll show you something real quick. So this is um this is not the easiest thing to see because this is variegated, but this is um they call these mill ends, and what it is is uh, the factory at the end of the run of a, of a yarn. Sometimes the yarn is crooked. Some of the times the color is weird. Sometimes it's wound strangely, and um like I don't know if you can see this, but it's it's a little bit wound strangely, and I used yeah. some of this already, and. They these used to be like three or four dollars. They're now about eight dollars. But these mill ends, I don't know if you can see inside of here, but you see how it's just sort of they sort of just threw these in here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then what it is, it's the end of the round, end of the run of a of a particular yarn. But anyway, this is a um, worsted weight four, and I just mm -hmm. wanted to show you. And you see, like there's always there's a little bit of damage there, like it got mm -hmm. caught in the machine. <laughs> Not too bad. But anyway, but there's this here. Oh, hang on, J Jags. We I'll get you in a second. What? Um, you can't actually came up to show us quilt? Okay. Well, we'll see. I gotta see. I don't <laughs> see it. We'll see what happens. And hey, John, mm -hmm. thanks for coming in. 
me, let me change myself here. I'm going to take myself down. But but that that's sort of a that's an example of a worsted weight yarn. Okay. Okay. I see. You. All right. Hey, John. Good to see you. All right, Jags. What's up? Uh oh. Hold on. Can't make see well big. enough on my phone. I got to make it big. Oh, no. <laughs> is that a washcloth? Is that a regular washcloth? That's a washcloth. Are we gonna have to like? Yeah, we're gonna That's have a to jump washcloth. That's a washcloth. <laughs> we're gonna have to. It's a naughty chair. Okay, he's in the <laughs> naughty seat. <laughs> I, I have done it, but I have. There's nothing I have to show that I can do it. Okay. Well, so this is what you're. This. this yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna. So get a ball of yarn from somewhere. Get an I or a J hook, and you're gonna join us. I know about all that, but uh, but uh, what? <laughs> I don't have any right now. There's, 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 no, there's, look, there's, there's no yarn, no hooks, or nothing in the house right now. Well, we're gonna get you. We're gonna get you started. We're gonna get you started. But anyway, next, but I hope, I hope, I hope I know he's bad. Next I had a feeling that might wild. happen, but I was trying to see. <laughs> Next well, time sure. I go to Wally World, I pick up some. Yeah, just just a basic hook, you know. Get an H, I, or J somewhere in there, and then uh, the cheapest, you know, worsted weight yarn. What's yes, ma'am. The biggest hook that you have, I bring it. Oh, you ready? Lino P Q R S. <laughs> oh wow! Is that for that blanket yarn? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a Q. Oh. Yes. What's the highest Ooh, that's a, one. That's a I, weapon. I think this is it. <laughs> I've not seen one bigger than this. It's a cute. Nice. Like I said, that's a weapon. Yeah, and there's the little. I don't know if you can see this cute. There's the cue. Do you see oh, that? Okay, there you yeah, go. Yep, there it is. So I found this. I pulled this out just for uh, the live stream. I figured that might be funny, but you know. I don't know what they're used. For. Another question. Would yes. you be able to like uh, use the cue and then attempt to make something with like medium yarn? Would that's that even not, work? We'll see. Let's take a look. Damn, <laughs> it's not a blanket. It was a washcloth I was holding up. It was just regular, yeah, regular washcloth. First, I thought I saw something on it, but then I went, "No, that's not a that's a washcloth." <laughs> so anyway, all right. So here we go. I'm gonna see if this works. And uh, let's see what happens. I, I, I imagine it's going to be like the fattest holes ever. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, and with that big one that you showed, Kelly, the, um, mm. somebody was doing crocheting together old store bags. And That's what mm -hmm. you can do, for and sure. Using yes. for different things. Yeah, when I, when I went to my first crochet group, there was a lady who was doing that. And this was so hilarious. Sorry. You showed me, she showed me how to make the bags, but it's mm. such a pain in the tushy that I just never <laughs> continued. <laughs> Look at well, this. Thing. Gun, line, gun line, where your husband at? Hiding. He's sitting right here, though. I tried to tell him to come on here so you wouldn't be by yourself. Yeah, Ooh, that's yeah. why I think I heard him talking, but uh, then I, he's going to disappear, too. Yeah, he was telling me, boy, that hook wow. is be good for skinning deer with. Oh, you can skin the deer fine with that, baby. Yeah, put put a razor on it. Hey, it'll work. <laughs> this is why we don't always bring men in the girl chats, y'all. Yes. <laughs> that's, uh, that's why I was going to stay out of it, y'all. I'm going to let you ladies have your time. <laughs> I'm not going to stay here. I just... Weapons. I just come up to put a little laughter in it. That's all. Yep. And we Y'all make it interesting, Jay. We Jay. enjoyed that. Yes. It, it is interesting. You. Yes. <laughs> Look at the size of that. The whole. <laughs> all right. So there it is. Look how big. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. anyway. That's why I love using like the baby yarn because usually it's so fluffy and it it'll is. make those hey, bigger stitches and again. I don't have to hold it so tight. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm yep. That's pretty cool. But I said, let's sneak on out again. Okay. I, I, yeah, okay, I'm, I'm gonna let these ladies have hey. their time. Yes. I, <laughs> my whole screen is filled up at the top because all these late. Uh, are you running oh, it, uh, Gunline? We're not streaming it on ours. Okay. Oh, I got everybody except for you, then. And Miss. 
baby. Yep. Grammy's on a roll. Great. <laughs> I'm so busy laughing. <laughs> I was trying to figure, I was trying to remember if I knew how to, um, was it, um, not double crochet, but um, the one in between the single and the double. Half double. Half Definitely. double, yes. Mm -hmm. I yeah, was trying me, to remember if I if I remember to do how to do that. Actually, it's pretty it's pretty simple. Oh, there's Crochet mm -hmm. Queen China. Hello. Uh, hang on, just a second. Let me. Uh, I'll switch over and I'll show you. So I'm at the end of my situation. <laughs> I'm at the end of my row, so I'll show you. All right. Ladies, y'all have a good time. All right, I've, been a, I've been in the background <laughs> listening. Have All a good right. day, Jay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. There we go. Okay. So I'm at the end of my row. This is a single crochet. Let me see if I can get in there. Yeah. Got to get this last one. I made my last little chain a little too tight. <laughs> but I'll finish it off here. Ugh. Got to get in there. There we go. Come on. All right. There we go. All right, so there it is. So there's my single crochet, the last one. Okay. Now, half double crochet. Oh, what other crafts? Oh, I knit and crochet. I've made rugs before. Now, half double crochet is you have to wrap it first. Okay, that's what I couldn't remember. So you wrap it, and you go into this V. And you pull up another loop. So now you have three on your hook. Mm -hmm. Then you wrap it, yarn over, and pull through all three. That's right. Okay. And it's a little bit taller than the single crochet. And I don't know if you can see that there. Just a little mm -hmm. bit taller. So one more time, you wrap it. You go into the braid there. Mm -hmm. Pull up a loop. Oops. Pulled up too much there. You got three on your hook, mm -hmm. and you yarn over and pull through three. There, that looks better. I was, for some reason, I was thinking you went through the loop first and then no. pulled up, and I, it didn't look right to me. So, right. So, thank you. so here's the thing. So here's the thing. So the single crochet is the only one that you don't wrap first. Mm -hmm. You go directly into the stitch you know, or into the loops, mm -hmm. whereas half double crochet double crochet, treble crochet, you all, you wrap it first. So I'll do one more. So you wrap it or yarn over, go through the both sides of the braid, pull up a loop. You got three on your hook, you yarn over and pull through all three. And that's a half double crochet. Okay. 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 But the single crochet, you go directly in and then pull up a loop. But this is half double crochet. Okay, and then the double crochet would be where you yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over again and pull through the one. Right. Yeah, well, okay. so yeah. So what you do is, uh, yeah. So you yarn over, you go into the stitch, you pull up a loop, so you mm -hmm. got three. Then you yeah. yarn over, and you pull through two. Yeah. Then you yarn over and pull through the last two. Okay. Back to one. And that's. Look, I can do it in my head, but I'm constantly. Yes. Yeah, that's the thing. Call. <laughs> right. So, so that's, that's the thing that you have to, you know, you have to just get it in your mind. Just remember <laughs> single crochet, you just go directly in the stitch and then you do the yarn over half mm -hmm. double, double, treble. You, you, you yarn over first. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oops. I'm going to have to dig out my old pattern when I was a kid and I was getting into it so big with my mom. There was a lady in our church yep. and she was retired. So she made, she crocheted blankets for people all yes. the time. Yes. But she taught me how to make, she would crochet these giant flowers, like oh, three that. petals and yes. then put leaves and then we would crochet like a quilt block around the flower mm -hmm. and she would do them in 20 different colors and then oh, wow. you stitch all the blocks together mm -hmm. to make it blanket 
and I could not. I tried to do it about a year or so ago without the pattern, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm lost. I got to dig that back." Out. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Fresh and fire. Did your link drop? Yes, it did. Okay, good. Check in my nightbot. Yeah, that's awesome. No, I love all this old stuff. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, it sounds really pretty. I love I love flowers and stuff like that too. And that's something you can make. And then the other thing is like granny squares. A lot of people are making granny squares. Yeah. Um, I yeah. I mean, well, we can get to that. <laughs> I, I just think we you gotta get that double crochet down. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and yeah so, that's um, key. Yes. Yeah. I do have a, one little input, ladies, and I'll stay out of it for real on this. But Hannah brought this up mm -hmm. about her mama making them little flower buds. And I'll try to get my mama to drag it out one day. We'll take some pictures of it and send to Miss yeah. T Sarah and all y'all, but one of the old preacher ladies, his mother-in-law, she was blind. Legally, oh. I mean, she she was legally blind, could not see at all. Mm. But y'all, that woman would make them flowers like y'all talking about. Make, mm -hmm. you, you know, crochet all that stuff and make a big old beautiful blanket. Yeah. And she would have them flowers sitting on top of it. How that woman did that, not being able to see. The only yeah. thing her daughter would give her colors. And she'd work that thing until she got it. But wow. I'll, uh, I'll try to remind my mama to pull that out and send some pictures. To get yeah, hands from some that. pictures. Oh. Yeah. I was turning almost yeah. home dead and I'll have to find one of the blankets I made with, I always called her Mama Shirley growing up. Wow. Everybody did, but mm. I'll have to find one because yeah. I made, I think, two blankets like that with her. Okay. And but my mom, y'all, she would get like the thread size yarn. And one year for Christmas, she got her one of those frosted Christmas trees. And like pink and snowmen were her thing. Wow. So she got a piece of pink felt. And y'all, she crocheted in that tiny little thread. A mm -hmm. whole, the whole thing was like a village scene. Oh, with wow. snowmen and all kinds of stuff okay. that she did by hand That's and cool. it, she was so much more talented than i am but we hey, have so to make it it. Now. i think mm -hmm. i missed a stitch though it's okay let, let me see i'm gonna make you big see if i can see it it's hard to see sometimes but let's, let's yeah let's see if i put it right there come on slow poke there we go <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that doesn't look. I see. I see what you, you might oh. have, but it, that's not bad. I mean, it's looking good. And I was gonna try to do the half double up here. Mm -hmm. I and love that color, Sarah. Just the white thread. White thread. Oh, it Green. looks like a baby blue. Does it look blue on the screen? It does. Oh. On mine, anyway. It looks yeah, like a, a light blue. That's really weird. Nice. Like the white it's... dress, blue dress thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice all right so let's see oh living out loud is here yes hey after living dark. out loud podcast after dark uh oh after dark podcast <laughs> yes yeah girl <laughs> so now okay when we turn we do one we start Tonsky. yeah you can chain one yeah you chain know for half level they i think they say to chain two Two but I would chain double. one. But I would chain one. Right, I, I, chain I'm not one a, and yeah, then like, I gotta turn yeah. it here. Turn it. Mm -hmm. And then go down the opposite way. You know what I mean? Go down the other side. But I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm consulting my uh, crochet. <laughs> uh, almost crochet. home setting. Say I bring in or anybody to Nate. Tell you say that uh, gun line. Tunisian. That's what oh, I was thinking. To ask. I don't. I've never heard that. Oh, oh, Tunisian? Let me, let me, let me uh -huh. read that. Mm -hmm. do, 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 do. What am I missing? Um, is she talking about Tunisian? Study. Oh, almost homestead. Oh, yes, Tunisian. No, so it's funny. I don't Tunisian crochet. And it's only because I knit. Because <laughs> it's kind uh -huh. of the same. It's kind of, it's almost the same. Like, it's, it, so crochet can be very, very lacy. And mm -hmm. the reason why people do Tunisian crochet is to make it less lacy. Um, but I don't do it. But there are a lot of people on YouTube that do. And I'll show you a picture now that you're mentioning that. 
looking through here. Okay, so here, let's see if I can make myself big. This is hard to see. It's yellow. I don't know. They picked a weird color to use. <laughs> yellow. Hopefully you can see this. Uh, but this is, uh, these are, these are stitches. And what you do is you, you line up the loops on the hook. They use these really long hooks. They're probably like 20 mm -hmm. inches long, 12 wow. inches long. And see these stitches all sort of come together. I don't know if you can see on that picture there in the middle, but mm -hmm. it shows how they, what you do is you, they do this thing where you pull through two, pull through three, pull through all of them. You know what I mean? And, and the, it, it can loop up to like 25 stitches. And it comes out really, really sturdy. Hard, hard, hard mm. fabric. Okay. And it does curl. Like I've heard people say it curls really, really badly. Let me see if I can mm -hmm. get this other side. But you see how you can do these really mm -hmm. patterns. Yeah. And, um, and that's what a lot of people do. So I've never done it because I found that I'd rather knit. Well, crocheting, you can crochet a, a blanket much faster. Mm -hmm. But knit blankets, I think, um, kind of give you that feeling <laughs> of the Tunisian crochet. But it's a little bit softer. Like Tunisian, I just feel like it's hard, you know. Not as soft as I would like it. But, mm -hmm. but, it, but you can do some intricate uh, patterns with it. Yeah, but I don't do it yet at, at this point. Yep. Let me see. Oh, guy stuff. Yeah, there are a lot of guys on. The, I know there are a lot of male beekeepers. I have noticed that. <laughs> oh, these sisters should be bad. I'm like saying how they love seeing Hannah with the girls. Girl yes. time. Girl time. <laughs> One chat I'm not scared to jump into. <laughs> Yay. That me is good. Either. Yes, it is beautiful. Oh, let's see. An almost homesteading said, I tried Tunisian once a long time ago. Different. Made a little bell Christmas ornament and now have no idea how to do it. Oh. <laughs> now, I learned tutorials. there was some things that I learned and they're just not there on my brain anymore. Back mm -hmm. in the book. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it takes a minute. I mean, that's the whole thing, you guys. It's not microwave. That, that's my, I wrote this quote down this morning. <laughs> This is not a microwave situation. <laughs> you know, like you really need to uh, take your time, enjoy the process. And I don't know if people mm -hmm. agree with that, but I just know it's like the, the very, very young people are like, it's got to be done tomorrow or yesterday. I like, want it now. I want it now. What was that from? <laughs> Charlie and the Chocolate now. Factory. Yeah. <laughs> I have a question for Gunline. How mm -hmm. long has it been since you've uh, held a crochet hook? Yes. A year, probably just over a year. Okay. Well, that's not I, bad. Really, I love doing it, y'all, but just I have rheumatoid arthritis and oh, okay. my hands are eat up. So I can only do it for you know, maybe 30 or 45 minutes and my hands are dead <laughs> and yeah. I have to stop for a while. Mm -hmm. But it, I always liked it as like just. It's just so relaxing to me to just sit down with coffee and just crochet for a while. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's been way too long. Now, have you tried knitting at all? No, I never did get into that. I, yeah. My mom kind of showed me a little bit because she did. Mm -hmm. and, you know, she would knit, crochet, sew, quilt. Quilting was her huge thing she did. Quilting's cool. Yeah. Yes. But I'm yeah. not that talented. <laughs> so yeah. It's been okay. a lot you know, longer it, than I like. Yeah. I mean, if you ever want to get into it, like I, I do a little bit of knitting. I, I can, I can, you know, show you the basics on knitting also. Yeah. If you, if you ever, you know, want to get. Now, the thing is, you're going to have, I, I don't want you to buy stuff. <laughs> That's the thing. No. I keep, you know. Look, my grandma always knitted too, but yeah. she like, I mean, she she's almost ninety six, so her oh, kids yeah. were kids in oh, wow. the forties. Oh my god! And so she made everything for them, and oh, she god. could knit a pair of socks and a scarf and hat in forty five minutes and have that them ready to go. Crazy. 
and like oh. I have her old knitting needles, and Ooh. I have some of her crochet hooks, and some of my mom's, and okay, so I, I've been really wanting to get back into it yes. more than I do, and y'all have like started that fire in me this morning again. I'm <laughs> listening to y'all while I was over at my dad's and I was like making a mental list of where yes. everything is. Like, okay, you can do this, Hannah. Yes. Yes. You can do yes. it. So the one thing I want to say, now that you mentioned that, so one thing that you can try like when you leave here today is mm -hmm. now you know now you know how to chain, you know how to single crochet. Mm -hmm. You did a little bit of half double crochet. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what you can do is just make a square, you know, like that mm -hmm. would be a washcloth. Yeah. Now, I wouldn't use this as a hot pad because this is acrylic yarn. It's basically <laughs> plastic. It'll melt. <laughs> but you could use it as a mug rug. You know, yeah. Sort of but I would mm -hmm. say maybe you want to make it maybe a little, a little bit smaller than this. I forget how many I chained. I'll have to count this. But yeah. um, maybe, maybe do 10, 15 across like here, mm -hmm. and then from here to here, and then make it square. You know what I mean? You can measure it with a ruler or a tape measure. Yeah. That's, that's a practice washcloth. Make mm -hmm. it square. And then you can check and see how your sides are. Like sometimes the people, yeah, we'll, we'll fix this. My, even my sides aren't perfect, but eh, it's not yeah. bad. You know, you want to yeah. make sure you, that your sides look pretty good on this. You know what I mean? That they yeah. There's things like that, but I think that's a good project that you can do, you know, once we get off of here. That's and what then, I was telling myself. Yeah. I was like, you can start sitting down and just make a square at make a time a and then yes. put them together at the yes, end. Yes. That's correct. Oh, here's the so, <laughs> Oh, she back. made it back. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> heart runneth over. Yep. Oh. yep. Good to see him. And now I'll show you, oh, I'll show you one more thing since we're all like, you know, we're, I'm just sort of, I'm filling in like as you guys are telling stories. But uh, I found this at the flea market. Oh. This lady oh made, this little, made this little hat off to the side there and a little dress. And That's she, you know, awesome. You see the bottom of that? Mm -hmm. really cool. And this looks like single crochet here. I think all the way around, actually. Now she she wove her ends in a little bit weird here, but yeah, we could fix that. <laughs> no, yeah. Thing. But she did a little 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 uh, shell on the bottom. Yep, around the edge there. That's really really pretty. Mm-hmm. But you know, this this is something like eventually, like if you have dolls, if you're if you're a doll person, hey Angie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Angie's <laughs> treasures is a doll person. Yep. But uh, you know, so these are some things that you can do. And I just, like I said, I just randomly pulled that out uh this morning and just just to just to, you know, keep the conversation going. Just some things like yeah. that. You know, like I love those old ladies, the stuff that they did back in the day. Like it was awesome. <laughs> yeah, people like, are into it now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you're going in the right direction. Yay! Fresh and fire backyard living. Nice. Very good. I know. I, I'm so excited. Yes. Oh, the expo. That's right. The expo's coming up, right, Miss T? Yes, ma'am. About 30 days. Oh, oh my right. goodness. Yes. Yes. And not the end. Thanks for coming. She's one of my members. I appreciate you. She's lurking, working and lurking. And one of the crocheters also. Yep. Look, so, I'm me. sorry, but what is your first name? Me? Yes. Oh, I'm Kelly. 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 Okay. Yes. I'm sorry. I just want to make sure. Oh, no, I no, no, you're right. fine. You're fine. And that's why, yeah. So like I, I told the ladies before we started, I said, come up a few minutes early so we can chit chat. Cause I don't, you know, I'm meeting everybody for the first yeah. time. Yeah. Yeah. It's, cool. it's you know funny. I mean? Kelly, Kelly is my sister's name, but hers was I E. So I was yeah, like, okay, so cause I bring yeah. Kelly's mom couldn't afford the E and Sarah always that's, says, my yeah. mom couldn't afford the H. My so big sister like, Kelly is with the Y. <laughs> yeah, oh, all these yep. Kellys. Everybody's a got a Kelly. <laughs> a lot of Kellys. Yep. Yeah, it's funny. My um, my mom. So at the time, like a lot of the people were male that were named Kelly. So my yeah. mother made it feminine, and that was you know. So it you know so it would I wouldn't stick out like being a male because like a lot of people when I would meet them they would go oh that's a male's name and I'm like I know <laughs> yeah. <but> not anymore <laughs> for real. Yes. See, I always thought Kelly was a 
a girl's name because no. the first Kelly I ever met was my sister. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> she was probably the beginning of, of the female Kellys. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, it's, it's interesting. And there were a lot of people named Kelly now, like so many, so many of us, you know, when I, when mm -hmm. I was in uh, high school, we had like seven. And I went, wow. Yeah. That's a lot of oh. and, it, and it was spelled every way you could imagine. K-E-L-L-I, K-E-L-L-Y, K-E-L-L-E-Y. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it was just on and on. But yeah, I was it, it, the oddball. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know anybody else named Hannah when I was growing up. Right. And you know what's oh. funny? I know a ton of Hannahs. Like, that, like really? That my daughter went to school with. Yep. I have I'm a daughter. Five. Yep. One of my granddaughters is named Hannah. Really, it's very, very popular now for sure. It's yeah. good in there. Mm -hmm. I think my mom thought she was being unique when she named me. Yeah, let's see. So, almost homesteading said her mother and her mother in law made fancy dresses like those. Then we had foster girls, and she made each one of them a ball gown. Wow, oh, wow. For the see, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. So, so Angie's Treasures is a doll maker, and she makes all kinds of dolls. And uh, I love like all this old doll stuff because people don't do it anymore. You know what I mean? They really don't. So I always look for it, you know, at craft sales or flea markets and things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Love, love what y'all can, can spot it quicker than me at a yard sale. Yeah. When we stop somewhere, he'll just come. I'll be on the other side of the place. And he comes up with a cardboard box full of yarn. Like, look, I talked her down to $2 for all of this. <laughs> That's what you do. Yeah. And don't, and don't forget Facebook Marketplace. You know, I found some good stuff there. Yeah. We have a place called Picker's Paradise here. It's one of Ooh. those flea markets where you, mm -hmm. everybody gets a booth. And I noticed I was walking in there last month, I think. I'll have to go in there again. They had a lot of crafters stuff. That's pretty cool, Sarah. Yes. Okay. Let me, let me, let me show you some of Angie's treasures. Let's see. Yeah, she's got some good stuff. Ooh, let me take a look here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I see you. <laughs> okay, let me make myself big here. If I can, uh, let's see, go back here. Okay, and let me take that down. Thanks, Angie. Let's see if I can make these bigger. Okay, here we go. Oh, my stupid light. I apologize. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, that, that you ring you for me. Oh. Yeah, can you see that? Oh, yeah. Okay. Is that flowers on the bottom? I think it is, yeah. Oh, it is. You know what it is? It's Granny Square. It's that flower. Oh. It's that rose Granny Square. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Those are neat. Yeah, she's really got some good stuff. But she does all yeah. kinds of dolls. I mean, look at this. Wow. Yeah, there we go. And then you got to sew the lace on separate, right? Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah. But that's cool. Yeah, let me see what else. Oh, look at this one. Oh, yeah. Wow, go. yeah, I'm just trying to get it in there. <laughs> you guys made Laura some... power. She said she's going to. Uh, oh, to Laura. Right now. Oh, Laura, I got some pictures. So Laura did some diamond painting. We were talking about that a couple weeks ago. Oh, and, and I'll show you. Let me see if I can get her up here. Hold on, Laura. Laura sent me some. Thank you, Angie. That's beautiful. Let me see if I can get Laura. Oh, did you email me or Facebook me? I huh? can't remember. Hmm. Let's take a look. <laughs> I think she emailed me. Hold on. Well, I'll keep talking, but I'll pull hers up. Yeah, she did some some good stuff. Did I see Buddha? Mm hmm. Mm, okay. Escape. Let me make myself. Okay. I'll put us back the way we were. But anyway, there, there's some there's a lot of things that you can do with this. And like I said, um, I, I made a little rug. Like, remember when Garfield, <laughs> I made a little Garfield rug, latch hooking rug uh, with yarn. And that was a kit that I got from some craft place. Yeah. And uh, I have so to stop because my finger, the arthritis. Oh, no. The, yeah, that knuckle is starting to protest loudly i understand <laughs> yes so i'm gonna put it here on my warm coffee cup that there you go. Oh. this yeah, is just a, a, mm -hmm. yeah you young women 
just look what you got to look forward to. <laughs> it's terrible. I know, isn't it? Like <laughs> this health stuff is very tragic. I know. I I just like I'm just trying to stay healthy. <laughs> Knocking on wood. There's, I see Tar Heel Beekeeper. And Hi, I Randy. Hi, Randy. Randy. <sighs> Randy is Tar Heel. <laughs> yeah. Let me, <laughs> Let me see here. Uh, Laura. Laura, Laura. I know you're in here. I'm looking. But keep talking. Hey, Danae. Talk Hi, Thanks for that. It's There's sick. so many cats going. I can't find <laughs> yeah, everybody. That is hard to reach, right? yeah. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. Okay. Loading up, loading up. Oh, she sent me a lot. Ooh. Girl. Wow. Yeah, she this did a lot. This is not of my picture of the one yes. that I did, but this was some of the Omega Rumi. Oh, yes. I did. For okay, one of my granddaughters. Let me, let me make you big here. So we can see. Oh, oh, that is adorable. I love. I my love the favorite movie. one that I did was a monkey. And like I said, I can't find my pictures that I took yes. of it. All I can find are the pictures of the pattern. Yeah, it's I hard. Know, like, it's hard when you're trying pictures, to find them quickly. Yeah. <laughs> I can't see. find a picture of the monkey, and it was so cute because it would stick its thumb in its mouth. <laughs> <laughs> If I, can. Okay. if I find a picture, it won't be a picture of mine. Ooh. Okay, Laura but. is busy. Okay, let me see if I can. I, hopefully, you can see this. Um, let me. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna make you small, and then I'm going to present. <laughs> Share screen. Hopefully, this will work. And there we go. All right, I think this is working. All right, here we go. Let's see if it goes in here. All right. Uh oh. Can you see it? Mm. Of course, I got so many windows open here. Ladies, give me just a second. Oops. Oh, there it is. Okay, add the stage. Here we go. All right. Let me make this. There we go. I don't know if you can see that there. Now, God, I, I'm just, I got so many tabs open and I apologize. <laughs> Give me a second. <laughs> That's what my brain looks like. Yes. All the tabs being too, open. <laughs> yes. Okay. All right. Let me see if I can see this here. Oh. Hopefully that'll show it. I got too many things going on here. Remember next Saturday at 4 p.m. I'm going to be going my big live stream anniversary. Oh, wow. We're so excited we're, for you. We're on YouTube. Yeah. I see. Yeah, we're going to have to plan one for me soon because I'm, I'm like 90 people I think away from 1500 subscribers well, oh that's my cool. gosh we uh, definitely you know I was going to do a live stream when I went to 500 and I took it out Sarah yeah. sent me some nice little things to give away so I still have that <laughs> yeah now can you guys see this mm -hmm. the blocks oh how cute the blocks okay Are so those... this is... oh. so she used uh, I forget what you call this you use the plastic uh... the plastic canvas Classic canvas, thank you. That's yeah. what Tampa's Creek is doing. Yeah, she does. She did that these. So cute. Yes. Now I still on. have a grandchild young enough to enjoy them too. Oh. Now, she also does stained glass. Can you see that? Oh, pretty. Now my husband's grandparents did stained oh, glass. Yeah. So this is Laura's block ministries. Oh, those are. Yeah. And she's not really a content creator, but she's in there with all of us. You know what I mean? Yeah. She sent me so many photos. I was like, ah, next time I got to take care of her. Look at that. That's crazy. Oh, she yeah. needs to be a content creator. She needs to do that stained glass. That is, I love that. I've never done stained glass. Yes. Now That's let so me pretty. show you diamond painting here. 
She's got one here. I have seen that. That's pretty. Yeah. The diamond painting. Love you to the beach and back. My sister in law <laughs> likes Yep. And then let me show you one more. But like I said, I love arts and crafts. I don't do a lot of these, but I just like to see what people are doing. You know that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's like a wolves there. And I don't know what that is. Can't tell. It looks like that. a lotus flower. A flower, yeah. And then some roses. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, so she, roses. Yeah, that's pretty cool, right? So thank you, Laura. I, I've been meaning to, to talk about this for weeks. <laughs> and I'm just like, I'm like, oh my goodness. I just wanted to show her work because she's awesome. <laughs> yes. Oh, almost homesteading says I really want to try the crafts using old cans where you cut them and make them into things. I remember my, that. Yeah. Wow. My dad used to do that with the a pop can. He would cut it into a ship and then we'd sail it down. Yes. River. That's <laughs> cool. Okay. So also I forget how we did it, but <laughs> that's cool. So Tampa's Creek Homestead does the uh, canvas. Cool. People like it. That's yeah. Something. I've never done it. Yeah. And and the can. Now did do they use a tool for that or do they just use like a scissor or how's that work? My do mother that just way? used like a tapestry needle with yarn. Yeah. It? It's kind of like it's kind of like cross stitch, but it's like done in the half cross stitch. Okay. And um, she mm. did like album, like covers for photo albums. She did yeah. tissue boxes. Mm -hmm. She did all kinds mm -hmm. of different things with it. Yeah. Yeah. So that's cool. I, I love it. I love it. Have a oh, good day, know, Randy. Yeah. I did find some of the pictures of my hats that I made of crochet. Mm. Okay. Let's see if you want to okay. show those. Yeah, let me make um, you. Let big. me see. Yep. I'll make you big. get it in the camera. <laughs> These are oh, little oh, cabbage pot pot. That's yep. a cute. That's adorable. And that's a little Viking hat or a little. Oh, <laughs> yes. that's they cute. Look like a little Viking <laughs> hat. That's awesome. See, those are so adorable. They are. Oh, those kids are adorable. Look at that. Hello, oh, kitty. Kitty. Oh, that hello kitty. kitty. Yeah. Oh, hello, kitty. Yes. Let's see. I love it. Ninja oh, turtle. Those. Are those oh, hard to do? No, they're not hard to do at all. Yeah, once small. you get it figured yeah. out. That's yeah. why I love stuff. It's small and you yeah. Yeah, I mean, that. I really enjoy doing the hat. Yes. And there's the angry cat. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, they were a lot of fun. The hats were. Yep. And I really enjoyed the Omega Rumi. That was yes. To me, that was very satisfying when you finish okay. that. Mm -hmm. Um, because they were like stuffed animals. Right, um, but I yeah. made a couple of the dolls. I did a monkey. I did. Well, hey, Bob. Hey, Bob, Bob, go get your crochet hook and some thread. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, Bob. Yeah, I did make those. That's nice. Yes. So um, I started a sweater. Now, Didra gave me a beautiful cowl mm -hmm. scarf. Have you seen those? Mm -hmm. Oh, like around the, the cowl scarves? Mm -hmm. Hang on, I'll get one. Yep. That's awesome. Let's see. What else? I'm just going through my notes here. Well, we, we did pretty well today. Now, do you want to try? Um, we did the single, half double, and sort of covered the double. You guys want to try mm -hmm. the double? Are you, you feeling lucky? <laughs> I think right now I was on the single, but I can take mm -hmm. those out and we can try the double. Or it's up to you. Or do you want to? Oh, it's snowing. Oh, no. Where is it <laughs> snowing? Is Danette. This is a cow scarf. Danae. Yeah, oh, Danae. Danae. That's how you Sorry. say her name. And Didra oh, no. made this for me. Oh, that's really nice. But let me take my hat off and see Sorry. my pretty hair. Mm -hmm. Oh, fancy. Ooh, yeah. That is very fancy. Wow. It's warm. very warm. Yeah, like she made this for me before we went to Kentucky because we it was supposed to be really cold up there. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Isn't wow. that pretty? 
That is gorgeous. Can you my pretty it? hair. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. <laughs> Put yeah, my hat back on. on. For a second, yes, I just want to see the. Uh, sure. It's a it's a tube. Yes, yeah, it's a tube. And it's done in double crochet. Yeah. And then there is a triangle. Oh, there, yeah, there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's just a triangle. I like that. I like it. But Didra, Didra is self-taught, um, pretty much like me. Mm -hmm. um, my mother taught me a few things when I was younger, but I didn't pay attention. That's I understand. My shawl <laughs> is a triangle. Yeah, that's a triangle at the bottom. That's, that's pretty. That is so cool. But, um, my yeah. husband's great. My husband's grandmother taught me how to knit years ago, oh, that's cool. and I didn't keep up with it. Um, mm -hmm. Everything, <laughs> everything I did, you could. I was starting out with little washcloths or dishcloths, wow. and I would drop stitches everywhere when I knitted. So I, I gave up yeah. on knitting. <laughs> yeah, you have to be careful. Yeah, because <laughs> it's hard. It's hard to fix. A little bit harder. To fix. Oh yeah, it's hard to fix it once you get past it so yeah yeah I, I i i understand that so everybody loves your hello kitty and all the uh that was uh -huh. one of the most fun hats i did and was the, the hello kitty one mm -hmm. yeah that's beautiful and slowpoke there I we go i think i still have those patterns on my phone do you yeah, that's good. Anybody wants it, you can email me and I can try to send you pictures of the patterns where I found them or whatever. Yeah. Let me get oh, okay. comfortable. I'm going to hit you up on that, Lisa. <laughs> sure. Let me drop my email. Y'all are, are welcome to email me. And if I can get them to you, I will. I will do my best. I just save everything on my phone. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. so here's my email. You can email me. And if I still have them, I will definitely send them to you. Cool. They're all done in screenshots. Mm -hmm. That's beautiful. Yeah, and we got Samantha Stewart. Hello, good to see you. Thanks for popping in. But everybody loves that. Yeah, that's awesome. That's 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 gorgeous. All right, but we'll we'll try one more. We'll try one more stitch. And uh, like I said, we we talked through the double earlier. I'll just demonstrate it, and then you can you know mm -hmm. you can meditate on it. You can try it. And like I said, try to get yourself a book. You don't have to buy it, but go to the library and, you know, do your thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So let's see here. I'm going to switch my camera. I'll show you the double crochet because I'm at the end of a row, so I'm good. All right. Here we go. Got to move this big hook. <laughs> there, there's your favorite. Um, oh, hold on. Here you go. Oh, I got to make myself big. I always forget to do that. Yeah, I was like, I can't really see you, Kelly. I know. I think it's this one here. <clears throat> this one. There you go. There we go. Okay, there's, okay, everybody. It's like Jaws. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot that. Let me chain. All right, so. Okay, here we go. So here's the double crochet. So what I've got going so far, what did we start out with? We start out with the, the chain on the bottom. A single. And the single crochet. And then the second row here is half double crochet. Let me call That's it. what I got. <laughs> yep. So now we'll do some double. All right. So so now what do you now what do you have to do to do the double? Do you remember? You have to chain two. Yarn over. You why chain? chain yeah, two. I chain two. Yep, I chain two because I turned my work. Mm -hmm. Now, what do and I do? You yarn two? over. Yep. Yarn and then over. go through your little braid. Yep. Got yarn that. over again and pull mm -hmm. it through. Mm hmm. You got it. And, and how then many yarn do I over. Have? Yep. I got three on Ooh. there. Okay. Then go ahead. You yarn and over and go through, through two. two. Yeah. That's correct. And then yarn and then... over again and go through the other two. Good job. There we go. You got it. All right, let's do it again. Oh, my goodness. That's a lot. <laughs> it, it, it's not. Don't get overwhelmed, Sarah. You okay, got you it. You can do it, Sarah. I did it, I did it, but wow. It's a couple steps. Mm -hmm. yeah, so couple, couple It steps. is. But to me, doing the double crochet will make a blanket just come together so much faster. Yes, it does. Things. Oops. And it doesn't make it quite that way. Yes. Hey, but yeah. that's, I mean, I can I see how there you get a rhythm going with this. 
Yeah. And once you get it down, Sarah, like you won't even have to look at it anymore. You can just feel right. it yeah, and, you and it. you can fly through it with a double crochet. Yep. See how I fast you go with it? <laughs> I might have to go to Goodwill today. <laughs> uh -huh. She's going to be stocking up on some yarn. See that? See how much quicker it goes like that? Yeah, and see how much bigger. Like, if you look at the stitches, yeah. this first row, single. Look at the difference mm -hmm. in height. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's it's really, really, you know, it's important. That's why it, to learn all these. And then, you know, and then there are patterns that you can get out of, a, you know, a crochet book that can show you to make mm -hmm. specific patterns out of all these stitches. And that's why I'm like a real stickler about learning the stitches. I say try the stitches and and then you can play around with the patterns. Yeah. So, now, Kelly, I have one question. And I don't know if you covered it before I came in because I was really, really late. But to do like if you're going and you're just making a big square blanket, like mm -hmm. if you're you're going on all four sides, not just back and forth making straight rows, to do the corners, don't you do two double crochets and then chain two and do two more double crochets in the same hole I do to make a corner. And it makes a nice little one. I don't have an example of a blanket that has that. <laughs> I'm just trying to look. I, look look I had one and Jasper yeah. ate it three days oh. ago and I had to throw it out. I could have wrung his neck. You wanted to kill him. Yes. Yeah, yes. yes. My dog. We're going to kill him. I mean, sorry, uh, we love him, but we're going to kill him. Oh, it's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of that stuff on Instagram, like dogs and cats eating, you know, crochet hooks and stuff like that. But that's uh -huh. what it looks like. And you just continue down. And so when you when you, when you you mix up the stitches, you know, it, it looks really, really interesting. So, like, here's a blanket I'm working on. I've been working on this for a little while. But this has a bunch of different stitches in there. Mm -hmm. I like and, it. Um, yeah, oh, thank you. <laughs> But, um, you know, like I said, yeah, you can always, you know, when you get to the corners, you can make little pretty shells on the corners and it makes it real pretty. Because usually people will go around the edges and they'll put like either some kind of like a single, oops, let me get the camera. They'll put like a single crochet around the end or they'll put like whatever, you know, usually, usually single crochet and then they'll do a little something in the corner. So like, for example, like you said, in this corner here, mm -hmm. I would go and do a little flourish in this corner right there yeah and that's something that you can do to make it less boring you know <laughs> but yeah that's definitely what you do this is not boring but not boring but you know to, to make it to, to zhuzh it up like zhuzh see, it. there we go square edge you know what i mean not real exciting it's like i mean it's okay you know but this is a square edge it's not that exciting <laughs> but you can but you can play that up and a lot of people do oh i'll show you something while you guys are uh, hanging out, talk amongst yourselves. A friend of mine made me a blanket, <laughs> and I'll show you what she did. She did some really adorable stuff with hers. But um... how's everybody doing today? <laughs> uh, <laughs> that refreshes. My focus is focus. <laughs> 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 Trying to get that. It yeah, I'm gonna have to get a bigger yarn because this. So you I'm my way back to the size. Ooh, yeah. Now I've got a, a question for you, ladies. Oh, what's that? Tell what's the it. chances of one of y'all making a black and yellow throw or blanket for a giveaway, Ooh. like a beekeeping? <laughs> oh, oh, beekeeping! I'm sorry, I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> Well, if I can find some black and yellow at the yep. Goodwill today, I might try. How big, how big do you want it? Like a, I guess a throw you could put on while you're in your easy chair or, mm. or something like that. Yeah. Nothing crazy. Not anything to fill the bed up. But, right. you know, just a, But anyway, my, my friend, uh, my friend made this blanket and, um. She, I, I can't really, it's going to be hard to show this thing because it's so big, 
but she, but you know, she's got like a lot of different stitches here. And I don't know if you can see that, but she's got like, these are Pico at the end here. Mm -hmm. uh, these are, uh, I think that's half double crochet, double crochet. She's got some kind of, uh, basket weave. I mean, she's got all kinds of stitches. She, she's really creative. So now, I'll switch over my, my camera. What's a Pico stitch, Kelly? That's a new one for me, too. Yeah, it's it's kind of this little... You, you make a little bobble on the edge there. Mm -hmm. You know, and um, and it's it, and it's a certain number of stitches. I forget what it is. It's sort of like you do... I think it's single and then a double and it does this little... <laughs> It makes this little bobble on the end. Like there's a bobble stitch. Yeah. But the Pico, they usually do it on the edges of things like this. Yeah. It's so cool. You know what I mean? It is. And she, I'm going to YouTube that and find a video on how to do that. Yeah, I like it. It's so easy. Yeah, the black and yellow bee like Af Afghan. That does make sense for the bees, doesn't it? Let me yeah. uh, change my settings here. I'll, 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 flip, I'll flip. I can't even talk. I'll flip back to my other camera. And uh, I'll show you, I'll, I'll, I'll pick up her blanket and show this to you. Okay. But she, she gave this to me. I'm going to have, I have to, get, this is what's so tragic. Um, <laughs> I have a, uh, like, a, this is my anniversary of my podcast, basically, like two days ago. And she said, do you want to do a giveaway? And I have to figure, I haven't figured out how I'm going to do a giveaway, but this is what she gave me to give away. And oh, oh wow. it's very quilty. Nice. That is beautiful. And very large. And I'm trying to find the patterns here. But I'll have to take a photo. And this is hard. It's hard to take photos of big items, but there's yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. But anyway, she's she's a very prolific crocheter. And see, it's almost got a quilt like thing happening there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But that I mean, is I gorgeous. On the shot. <laughs> it's like it's so big. But I'm gonna do a giveaway on this blanket. <laughs> so I'm gonna uh -huh. I don't know when, but I'm gonna I gotta you know I gotta get that together. But and how I'm gonna do it, I don't know. <laughs> well, while I'm on the computer here, I went and subscribe to your channel so I can check out some of your other videos. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> but oh, here's a star in the middle. Oh my gosh. Yeah, see. This lady, is she, she is like killing me. Well, she's, one of those <laughs> people, she's a lefty crocheter, Miss T. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, she's a lefty. And um, she's just really fast. And shameless plug, uh, if you <laughs> check her out, uh, I did a video about her. Um, uh, okay. And she comes to my, like my, I, I go to uh, Wednesday crochet groups. I try to, not every Wednesday, but <laughs> Most Wednesdays, and we always get together and we just sit around. We do kind of what we're doing now, and usually mm -hmm. pe people consult. You know, like I need help with blah 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 blah, and they help. Yeah. With, you know, things like that. But I'm just going to show as much as I can. But she gave us to me to give away. She goes, "Do I give away on your channel?" I went, "Thank you." <laughs> that <laughs> so is I will, but I just don't know how I'm going to do it. <laughs> you know, because I think people should do some work for this Afghan because it's amazing. <laughs> It is. Yes. So anyway, but there's that. Let me put her That is here. awesome. But she's amazing. Oh. And her, her name is Donna. And I have some videos of you know Donna and myself. Just mm -hmm. kind of, usually I'm going, I made a washcloth. I, I made a rock. And she's like, uh -huh. I made three Afghans and you know this. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. yeah. <laughs> but anyway, there's that. So well, that's, ladies, that's I'm sorry, but I have got to run. I gotta yes. go do some running for my dad. Yes. So, but I really, I'm sorry I was late, but I thoroughly enjoyed it. I'm, I'm so glad ready you for digging out my hook. Well, have a great day, Hannah. Yes. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Okay. We'll see All you right, y'all we'll take care. Thank you. Southside of Indianapolis. Okay. There's yeah, my... so anyway, so that so this is where you can get to, and you know, uh oh, oh, let me see. <laughs> uh oh, hold on, let me see. You're looking good. Hold on, I gotta take down this comment. There we go. That Thank you, top big row is my double crochet. All right, Aww. I did it. Very nice. I like it. Love Arigato it. Gozaimasu.
Okay. It's Japanese for thank you. Yes. I love it. That is, that's wonderful. So I'm hoping that if nothing else today, you guys, that you learned a little something and, um, you know, I don't know. How, how are you guys feeling? You want to hang out more? We can shut it down. Oh, we got to go because I got to go meet Miss. We can T. go. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to meet up with uh, Tampa's Creek. And then if Almost Homesteading is willing to travel. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. yeah, we're doing a little mini Indiana greet, meet and greet. That's really nice. That's really nice. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not anyway, like well, thank you so much for great. That's kind of what we're going to be talking about because I've got a good idea for okay. Indiana to get together, but we got to talk about it. That's great. No, I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate you guys coming to my channel. <laughs> and uh, we appreciate you. This is humoring me for a little bit. It's awesome. My hubby is, uh, he's like, I don't know if he's kind of jealous. <laughs> She's spending time with the computer. <laughs> I, well, yeah, I know that that is a thing. I understand. <laughs> oh, and it did help. Okay, good. Fresh and fire. And yes, also it, it did help. Yeah. Also, I like to do hangouts, you know, with my uh members. And if you ever want to hang out, just reach out to me and we can do it. You know, we'll we can do just tomorrow. do some crafting behind have the scenes. A blessed day, yes. Yeah, we don't have to be, you know live i mean it's yeah cool. we can get in behind the scenes and do because yeah. you can do that on Streamyard. absolutely yeah we can do that anytime so if you guys are interested you know you can always reach out to me you know i'm on i'm on the i'm on the facebook and the youtube i'm not on the facebook but i'm on the youtube streets so. i'm on the instagrams <laughs> and things like that yes. uh Sarah, before we dip out do you have information on almost home setting like an email or something um Almost homesteading, email me, Sarah at Sarah's Happy Hives.com. Mm -hmm. I'm the no H, Sarah. No H. <laughs> no H. No H's. But yeah, we'll definitely be seeing more of each other on these YouTube streets. That's I'm awesome. Glad we met. Yeah. And I will definitely connect with all of you as well. I, I appreciate it. And yeah. it's all Miss T's fault. <laughs> <laughs> That's wow. great. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I appreciate y'all coming. And, I, and like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty chill, so I'll do whatever, you know, <laughs> well, have a great day. And I look yes. forward to doing this again. I will. All right, yes, yes, See yes. Later. Take care. Bye. Bye. Thank you. I bring it. You're welcome. <laughs> Thanks for having me. <laughs>